I have to talk to you now, and it feels like I would go and fuck myself in my nose, basically. This is a total paranoia, schizophrenia, ultra-violence. I am raped in my head with by Slovenian police. It's crime, however, worthy to report that concerns in this case. My mother, my father, and also my sister. Um, Guala. Uh, I couldn't find my sister absolutely anywhere in my sister directly like as per direct involvement, absolutely anywhere uh, in respect to my father's stay at the general hospital, now Mesto and home for elderly people. However, uh, the brain fart that uh, I am going to use this opportunity to stress obviously will demand police involvement in this stuff and take care of my parents, sister, my niece, and so on through the police methods. Uh, I am unwilling to negotiate with anybody in respect to this case. There is no, no, any kind of willingness on my part that would be interested in, in any kind of negotiations in respect to this. The only person that I am still willing to let free is eventually my mother, who is this morning called me again as mentally ill, sick, and horribly mentally ill and sick due to what I'm about to report to you. I challenged her. Uh, this is still a person that I would give a a second chance. What I mean by this is she doesn't talk to me. She's not discussing with me absolutely any kind of issues. Uh, anything that I try to turn to her attention in respect to MK Ultra torture, she's just, uh, I'm not going to say only totally dismissive, but she's using the opportunities to hurt uh, as much as possible. Uh, so, she is the only person of entire family that I will offer one more chance at the official police interrogation. No other person for that matter. Uh, absolutely not my sister. Uh, you should know that I love my sister more in the world than any brother ever did love his sister. The things to know about me is that my sister to me was just as my mother my entire life till um, they wanted to literally kill me. All right, so I think that's decent. All right, till I returned from the United States of America, it became evident that these people were motivated in ripping me apart through psychiatry even, uh, that's when the love was gone. I pardoned her for everything that went on during MK Ultra, and there is nothing in this world I wouldn't do for my sister, uh, but when ambitions to get me murdered through the psychiatrists, through the use of psychiatry, psychiatrists, with the help of psychiatrists, uh, that's when the love was game over for me. That was it. That's as far as I could go with my love, unconditional love for her, uh, accepting abuse as the way of life, I should say. She was abusive. She was dismissive. She was, uh, you know, no sub lady. Uh, she had that attitude. Uh, Minka. Aunt Minka, uh, tutored my mother, my sister, uh, since I remember since my very early childhood. There was also Aunt Frida. Uh, Aunt Frida was uh, more patient with me. Uh, Minka was plain nasty. Uh, 
just move to the Maribor to my aunt. Uh, I'm talking about very early age, when I was one year old, two years old, three, and so on, uh, because she was certain that she was a baronessa or something like that in our house over there in the city. And she instilled a really, really nasty, what she referred to as a city attitude, a city girl attitude into my mom, into my sister, by literally abusing me mentally, taking like, treating me like a dummy. Um, how can I say? Trying to make me feel like a useful idiot at a very, very early age in my life. Uh, as to what she explained me is, anyhow, is what pertains to the males, basically, to the male sex. That in her eyes, that was completely inequivalent to the female sex. Uh, it was uh, like... <clears throat> Basically, for us to be a dumbass is basically around females. That kind of logic, basically, is what she had in her head. Oh, she was very special. Uh, her last name a little bit differed from our last name you know, through the same family roots, everything. Uh, v uh, became you and so on and so forth. But uh, she was really, I understand, brilliant, very smart lady and so on and so forth. Uh, some people will probably share these days to the lady like this, like a super feminist. Uh, it's all right. Uh, I was not disturbed by that kind of stuff. Uh, I never became her victim anyways. I gave her my own solo uh, as a child. I gave her the right, and she didn't like the right of her life she got from me <laughs> as, in, a, in an early childhood, all right? I had my ways to strain it up, uh, misunderstandings uh, as a child. Uh, and so, um, uh, I, I, uh, I am just appalled. I think that my relatives, my, my mother, my sister, I think they are somewhat casualty of, uh, in many ways, casualty of, of, of ignorance. Uh, but there definitely was also a factor of evil. Uh, I, as much as I wouldn't say, uh, that was present in my mother. Uh, I I don't know about my, my mom because my mom was how can I say? She was very much pressured uh, from the relatives. My mom, I was never gonna forget when my sister pushed me down from the scarp at our house in the city of the Novo Mesto. She did this out of total fucking evil. She is more than 10 years older than myself. Uh, and, you know, um, holy shit, I mean, uh, it's exactly what I stated to you. My sister was my life to me. Um, and there was a little misunderstanding, whatever it was. The sister stated, you will do this. Like, she wanted to train me like I would do exactly what she said. And I was like, I'm not going to do that. And she said, if you will not do this, I will do something to you and this and that. And I didn't believe that my sister would do something to me. No way. Impossible. And really, I was playing along the scarp and all of a sudden comes and pushes me from behind down. Uh, off I fell down on my head, basically. Uh, straight on a pavement, basically, on a... On a cement, basically, on a on a cement, on a worse than that. It was uh, uh, it was like a little stones because I have all fucking scratched all over my face and stones inside and shit. Yeah, I just couldn't understand why why this kind of stuff. But anyways, it's that kind of factor that definitely persisted to her up to up to date. It's very, very sad story for me to notice these things. Um, she crossed the red line with a psychiatric hospital in Polia 
uh, did everything possible so to convince my mother and father to get me destroyed. They insisted them to abuse me as much as possible for being jobless, getting yourself job, even if she knew what they were doing to me as far as job, employment, uh, paid bills, that kind of stuff. Uh, she really, really enjoyed in She, however, was not the one who had to do much about poisoning my knees because my knees, that's a category for itself again. That's again her daughter, Urshka Golob Weber, and her husband, Mitya Weber, a teacher, a teacher, very reputable teacher at the school center here in a normal mesto with doctoral title. Um, I don't know, maybe even two, uh, a family man and so on, became, once I started to unleash hell on them, uh, he transferred himself into exactly what I stated. Uh, in as much as possible, stable work environment and uh, try to look to build for himself a reputation as a family individual uh, or other as somebody who is sacrificing himself for the society for the sake of the society and so on to cover up as much as possible influence environment as much as possible uh, due to my case um, I am just going to tell you that my niece became nutritionist uh, employed by the Slovenian state literally participated in most of the crimes, I don't say absolutely every, but when I tell you that she participated in at least 1,000, is like fair to say 1,000? No, I would say maybe even 2,000 uh, food experimentations, occasions where they would measure literally uh, cancer impact from the food products on me, I am not exaggerating. She absolutely evaluated absolutely every product, and it was not about evalu evaluating absolutely every product, but it was evaluating combinations of the products. Um, first, they give you, like for instance, I'm going to give you an idea how they got the cancer, how the cancer happened, how the cancer came to life. But with the cancer, they played with garlic, with a lot of garlic, with eating a lot of garlic. Uh, during MK Ultra, um, the tooth after the year 2000 and 2006 is when I pulled one out, as soon as I came from the United States, after 11 and a half years, uh, they would just... Maybe I did go a little too far, maybe even with this explanation, but I'm just trying to give you an idea about my, my knees, basically. Um, I pulled the tooth out. The, this tooth, I didn't give myself another one. They started to play with another two. They already started to play before with this two, taking the plums out, realizing that that tooth is going to go wrong. They started to play with two tooths at once. And since they were playing with this tool, um, okay, there's no tooth here. So we take the concept of garlic, which, uh, which side of the jaws are you going to be chewing the garlic with? Well, the answer is with this here, with this side. So they use the garlic to, as much as possible, agitate throat then they would support that with a C vitamin and, very importantly, with the loads of ice cream all of a sudden. Uh, when you're under NK Ultra, you don't feel a fucking shit. Uh, I did feel the pain, uh, but under NK Ultra, you can just, I think they could, you, you adjust yourself to pain, you adjust yourself to um, you just, you feel the pain, you suffer, but you somehow, because you don't have choice, basically, 
you go along. You're just praying basically that um, you're actually wondering. I wondered um, if I'm already dead or what. Basically, like this is where it goes. And when they return you in the environment, it works. You're okay uh, for the major part. And you don't pay attention to that stuff till it accumulates. The police officers had a chart, private charts they had. They had the charts they would get from the physicians some of which falsified even my medical file. The last physician who falsified my medical file in respect to the incident in early childhood, it was at my age three and a half years of age, was also Gazvoda. Um, physician Gazvoda, however, was the last one that did her part in respect to falsification of the medical file. The first one who took initiative in a newly independent Slovenian murderer's genocidal state, and I said to myself today, my God, I said, you know, I said to myself today, my God, I said, you know, where this, how these people came to, to, to senses that I have to do anything with the Nazis? Where, where did they got this idea about my having any kind of connection with the Nazis? I don't understand this stuff at all. Uh, Americans are going to tell you. Italians are going to tell you. They were very angry with me, Italians. Americans were very grateful. Amer uh, Italians are going to resent me, this stuff, what I'm going to say to you. But Americans are going to be very grateful. But to me, it doesn't matter, really. Because if you're an Italian with a brain, you're going to use them, basically. Life is more about being Italian or American or whatever you are or Slovenian, for that matter. When he, when he goes, when, it's, when he counts, trust me, it's more than about these issues. They're going to tell you that Frank Sinatra, who was involved in MKO since my early childhood, Frank Sinatra and his daughters and his wife, uh, his wives, the daughters today are going to even tell you that because of me, Frank Sinatra gave up on his Italian heritage. Because I was intimidated with the fact that he has his name Sinatra, which is actually really a beautiful last name, a really, really beautiful last name. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just that because of what went on, on one side, because of what went on on the other side, because of my family roots, because of my family roots, because of the books in the school, uh, I wasn't even damn sure uh, if that other side is not going to do something to me. They were very nice. I met people that were... Uh, you know, that were Nazis, real Nazis from the Second World War II. However, those people were really, really nice people to me. Obviously, they did have interests. Um, and obviously, my interest was to survive. The side that wanted me dead, however, was the side from which both sides of, um, of my family are coming from. From my grandfather's side and from my mother's side, I told you both were partisans, uh, national resistance and so on involved in it. And in this mess that was around me, in which it became evident that this SS, Gestapo, Nazi, whatever you want to say, whatever people that, that were involved in it from the Second World War II, they didn't have any kind of impact. But what I'm saying is, that in whatever they were, well, it matters whatever they were. Those people didn't feel like they want to hurt me. Yet, I was very cautious, and I was not very comfortable around these people. And because of these things, because of, because of my being suspicious about 
this new world I was discovering, completely helpless, drugged up, without having any ability to charter my life. This, the greatest guy in the United States of America I have ever known for, this, this Frank Sinatra, uh, became everybody uh, labeled me as a Nazi, uh, and back and forth, and uh, to him it just didn't make any fucking sense because because of what I stated to you. Um, it was a really confusion that I didn't know what to think of. You know, when when you have literally a butcher's animals worse than SS, worse than Gestapo, torturing you. And these are the people that you're supposed to call fellow Slovenians. You're supposed to address them as people that are descendants of the partisans on whose side your grandparents also were. But they're worse than Gestapo. They are worse than SS. You don't see the stuff like this that was done to me in, in the videos about what went on in Auschwitz, in a Dachau. Now you're going to say you're crazy. No, fuck you. You're crazy. You don't know about what the fuck went on inside of this house and what the fuck went on in this area here and what the fuck went on when I was distributed around the world. I'm not crazy. You're fucking crazy because you think something like this is not possible. But these people are worse than Gestapo, worse than what you have on the videos about Gestapo, about the SS inside of the concentration camps. You don't know what it is like when they wrap your stuff like this around your body. So it holds your backpack or it even holds bricks basically around your waist and makes you march 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 kilometers. You don't fucking know. But I'll tell you what, it will fuck your body up. It will destroy your gland nodes, lymph nodes. It will fuck you up. It will destroy you. And they did the stuff like this after they poisoned. You don't understand. You don't see the shit like this. Nobody did the stuff like this inside of the Auschwitz, inside of the Dachau. Just because I'm alive, because I survived this shit, it doesn't mean that they didn't have a checkpoint list, literally, which I did not understood because I didn't understood that these people could be so insane. Were telling me now we did this part, now we did this part, and for every part they did, they made the check mark on it. They made the check mark on it, literally making me jerking off. Not on one occasion, but God knows on how many occasions in front of them when they poisoned because they wanted to get cancer also on my testicles, for which I understand even tested positive. They got the positive result that also they infect the penis area also with a cancer. Do you understand what fucking animals these are? I told you about different dots they created, cancerous dots on me. But this is basically how it ended. You don't know nothing about my body yet. One time I'm going to take it time to explain you exactly how I even feel when the cancer starts to multiply, how it's multiplied through the legs. And it goes or impacts certain parts of the body if I do certain things that remind of whatever they were doing to me during MK Ultra, how it goes like this, basically how it goes, including on uh, what I told you about uh, throat cancer, which they also contemplated on. For me, it's very very easy to get a throat cancer. All I got to do is take a lot of ice cream, and I am dead, basically. Like the guy over there in this Bohumin who had a hole here. He was not the only one. It became popular. You don't know anything about these people. And just because they were grandkids, these are grandkids of partisans, it doesn't mean that they're not worse than any Gestapo or SS officer was during the World War II. This is the world that is 
delusional world. It's a world that is not based on facts. What we have going on today, in some cases, are people that go, that surpass crimes of the Nazis and SS committed during the World War II. And you're not fucking aware of it for your political career because you are afraid to even stress this kind of issues because this public opinion, this terrarium or whatever you want to say, this little greenhouse of Dwayne Rock Johnson's that run this little business through the Hollywood. They are enforcing some kind of culture like, you know, hey, hey, hey you, uh, it's cool, it's cool, brother, it's cool. And it's nothing really known what is behind this stuff. You, you see people rampant shootings, you see this stuff, but nobody tells anything about what goes on, what's happening. I'm not condemning the people who resisted Hitler. I'm not condemning the people who resisted Benito Mussolini. That's not what I'm here for. I'm just stressing that the world is, the world has got a serious problems. The world has got a serious problem. So I'm not even a descendant of some people who would participated in a Nazi movement or anything like this during the World War II. My grandparents, I told you, uncles, everybody, was in a national liberation front, in a partisan front. And for that matter, also, it wouldn't make any fucking difference because you can't do this stuff like this to anybody. You don't have actually the right to do this stuff. There are laws, there are treaties that protect this kind of stuff, and it's the police that should, the police which violate it, that should enforce this type of issues, in fact. So I'm just giving you an idea about, I get in a really bad mode because I didn't even get to the part to explain about what was actually, what exactly these people were doing to me. There's so much stuff more I have to discuss in respect to these issues. Uh, my niece, nutritionist, enforced, basically, cancer, enforced through the food selection, uh, coordinated with a psychiatrist, cough, and so on, literally enforced uh, through visits of my mother to father. Uh, the kitchen, basically, what is going to be on the food, what is going to be, what's, what's going to be on a plate, and so on. And I don't know what else mom, whether she's using some kind of a web page or whatever she's doing. Uh, but this goes exactly according to with uh, MKUltra, whatever, whatever they designated uh, it would be. For every meal, for everything, they brainwashed, boy, they, they, uh, they did the stuff, all kinds of stuff. Um, a nutritionist that works for the state and participated since my early childhood, uh, my niece, ultra-violent girl that wanted to get physical on me, but got instead, when I was drugged up during MKUltra, beaten up, would not dare to touch me again physically, assault me during MKUltra. In real time, in real in the daytime, she would play victim in front of me, claim that I was the one who was causing her harm and, and that kind of stuff. Till she got her boyfriend, husband, who however stepped on her side and demonstrated that he is a male and that he can handle, in fact, fully grown man who is jerked up, subjected to MTO trolls so physically. It's, is a teacher at Sushetezeu, basically at school, which I also attended, high school, Sredna Shola Zdravstvena and Tehnična Usmeritve Novo Mesto. I'm not disappointed by my sister. Uh, I didn't know how I would, where I would integrate myself with my sister. Uh, toward the end of this video, I am going to return to her. It became yesterday, however, once I returned from the visit to the father. Uh, 
I got this stuff here. Of course, that mental sickness is supported by what you see here. Of course, this is what was translated to me as a Merliška Vežica. Right? Merliška Vežica means a morgue, basically. A morgue, this will be a place like uh, where people go and they deliver their deceased. One thing that I'm going to say about Frank Sinatra, uh, some Italians even threatened me to ever dare me to say something like this. I don't give a fuck about it. Frank Sinatra, for me, was the greatest man in the United States of America because he saw himself so much in me that uh, he totally uh, he declared that he is not of Italian heritage for my sake, literally, because he wanted me to trust him. Uh, but that he is an American. And Americans, uh, it's not American, it's just goofs, basically. Uh, rather than to solve the, the problem they created, they complicated and complicated and complicated. And um, started to. Uh, Certain people started to see themselves as a, as a German, others as a British, others as a, as a Scandinavian, so whatever the fuck it might be. Uh, as for myself, uh, I only wanted to get some American chick to get married when I was in the States. But in the real time, it did not matter what my life was, basically, uh, policed was around, everything evolved around MK Ultra, basically. This is just the way it is. So I, I don't care about that kind of stuff. But really, Frank Sinatra, I read the other day, it is written, nationality American. He was American. 100% he was American. Uh, I feel that he was American because he, he related himself to me. He saw himself in me. He was always 100% absolutely certain that I'm going to make it. It just I'm afraid that he did not understood where I was coming from. And... While I did concentrate myself on any issues that I shouldn't have had, that's like political uh, stuff, uh, to degree that um, people on both sides, uh, one side was certain evil. There is absolutely no no doubt about it. That what Slovenian National Liberation Front have committed itself to a torture in front of the memorials of the partisans all the way to Pohoria, uh, where uh, Milan Kuchan and Pahor would have me with the neighbors here, with the burghers, attend these commemorations to the partisans. And it's where I would be beaten up, tortured, humiliated, insulted. Uh, one side took the side. Okay, one side definitely took the side. Uh, it, it's 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 sad that they have lost the morals, the compass, uh, that they uh, pulled behind their uh, grandfathers, uh, fathers, I should say. Uh, Majority of the Slovenian nation using me literally to build through anger, literally through through protest, uh, an opposition, a very very unlikely opposition. That I was, I'm really not like when it comes to the Second World War, like between. Nazis and between partisans and so on, I was never motivated, never interested in deciding about the Second World War. Uh, you understand? The Second World War just was the Second World War. I was interested in other stuff. I was interested in females, house, uh, education, work, that kind of stuff. I was interested. And uh, this is just the stuff they removed out of the choice. Uh, and 
continue to rake down the throat. What appealed to Vladimir Putin very much, uh, through the circumstances I, I mentioned to you, uh, a persona, a personality of someone that uh, would match the one of, of basically dismissive personality toward uh, a females that would not appeal a dismissive personality uh, toward uh, uh, also males that would not appeal of that were of a darker complexion uh, that were not of uh, maybe so much of the European descent not necessary it all depended it was very, very contradictory. There was also black girls that I liked very much. There was also, uh, there was a lot of Japanese and Chinese females that I liked and all kinds of females from Asia. Uh, Native Indians, for instance, from United States, uh, South Americans, as many as you want, uh, and all kinds of females that it just demonstrated obviously that I was interested in the females that look good, all right? That just like the good looking female, basically. Uh, you know, when I said accented, you know, uh, it become evident, you know, evident. It become evident, always become evident by controller. You know, you have a victim here, and then you have a group of people around this victim, yes? And who do you think makes impression on, 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 on a person uh, that is checking this victim to see what to think about the victim? Do you think the victim makes impression on this person? It doesn't. Uh, it's a group of people that surrounds the two that makes the decision its career it's a business offers it's all kinds of stuff that makes that final call which vladimir putin creates so much serbia russia creates so much so they could boost the war basically division of the world and all kinds of issues like this so as for this people here that were involved from slovenia into this stuff this is disgusting i don't know how can you go and present a better world, a more just world in a way I have explained here have taken place in my case. I'm not alone anymore. My mother returned back and she's certain I'm mentally ill. So uh, bear with me. Now, when I finally clarify these issues in respect to family, uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to accent. I was never sure about what in it, in respect to my father's hospitalization at the General Hospital of as the home for elderly, what exactly was in it there for her. Well, uh, I did came to realize that What I initially was sure when I came home, I remembered it was it was a morgue. Mortuary. How do you say mortuary? Uh, at, the grave, at the graveyard where you would have people paying final respect. Paying final Okay, if this isn't going to be a mark or whatever it's going to be, yeah, this is it. It, it does make sense. Uh, in, in Slovenia, they do have a place where you would have a deceased person in a casket uh, if the person doesn't want to be cremated, and then you would have people taking him on a final journey, basically a funeral, cemetery, graveyard, and mark. Let's see this stuff here. Morning and burial of that casket. Okay, uh, I'm done with it.
I'm going to play with this stuff some other time. I don't have so much time. All right. So I'm just going to give you from Slovenia an example. This is the graveyard. You have a little, little house. Yeah, this is what my mother basically saw at the entrance of our home. That's what it basically looked to her like it's like a fucking morgue, like a place. Basically, something that left people involved, police investigators, with a horror on their face. Uh, Metot Yerman, investigators, the next door, was not present at the time, but there were two other police officers. Uh, it was an evening time, and my mother would get oftentimes escort, a police escort around Smolina Gora. She was making a track around here about, I don't know, two, three kilometer long track in the evening, and they would dress me up, and we would always, we would be doing walking back and forth. They would go together with the mother around Smolina Gora. They would give her a company and to me. Simple as this. And as we would come home, uh, guess what? Right? I say, basically, the doors somewhat do look like from this place here, whatever it is. Um, however, um, the two police investigators that were present, w both were... Uh, one of the police investigators stated that she is completely, that she went now, that she did go out of her fucking mind. Uh, well, that evening, the two police investigators started to ask themselves if my mama is 100% sane, if she's got everything in her head. Kaya, mamitsa, kaya, kaya, piki, yo, Okay, uh, to me personally, when I uh, started to evaluate what exactly is up with her and her seeing a morgue at the entrance of, to our house, uh, I myself started to doubt about her mental condition because, yeah, you can do the stuff she was doing all along, for which I figure out that they're going to be using to create like some kind of anxiety. It was all the time your father is going to die. Your father is going to die. And she was placing all kinds of items and stuff they would be placing and, and doing and translating together with the neighbors. All sorts of issues, basically trying to remind, trying to make uh, crazy issues. Uh, uh, my sister is very important to note. Trying to... Trying to remind as much as father, you know, to this kind of issues, you know, yeah. uh, whatever they would find irregular, crazy, and stuff like this, they would they would really look into what what could could remind of the father, and there would all kinds of stupid shit in the area, and would deliver me. When you see this, when you see this, is already too late. When you see that, is already too late. When you see this, is already too late. It was like la 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 la. Yeah, okay, but this stuff here, uh, for this stuff here, I will never forget the police investigators. Of got... course, that mental sickness is supported by what you see here. Of course, this is what was translated to me as a Marliška Vežica, right? There is a mama, and here you see... Uh, She's got some beats or whatever. Beats, look at that, that's beautiful. <laughs> And, totally uh, that's from MK to Ultra. Mean the flower. Everything is according to MK Ultra scenario. So, uh, but father has a problem, and it's his problem. It's not going to become my problem. Oh, there you go. There you see the flowers. She delivered the flower, uh, not the flowers, but this plants that you see right there. This is the area for my sister. A reserve for my sister for the mail for everything is placed right there, and. Guess what? Um, this is to finish the video in respect to my sister. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, not through here, but 
On the other side where is the asphalt, my sister explained to me that where the Yanko is house at the Zhikovo Selo ends. This is where the sister started with her philosophy. Once I see what you have seen right there, what I should expect. She will have hospital inject her with the cancer, with the stuff. Uh, and would, if necessary, uh, orchestrate a real death. Uh, basically, so that I could not go after my father, uh, obviously after my mother. They apparently, according to her mental illness, would go and file for a death certificate. And it would also implicate a load of other people. My sister started to fantasize during MK Ultra, wanted to get paid for it, started to solicit people involved in MK Ultra if she could actually cash her debt, literally, if she could get paid and she would really die, uh, if that would help, so that uh, eventually it would stop me from pursuing people. stalking people from obtaining fake death certificates. The most popular subject of MKUltra were fake death certificates. The death certificates issued to the people involved in MKUltra that would select like some sort of afterlife option, uh, new, newly basically issued state IDs with different names uh, with by state provided uh, lodging, locations, retirements, etc., etc., etc. Get me, basically, claim uh, for someone's debt to be fake and to obtain a proof of one uh, would delegitimize me uh, in a way of involving debt certificate issues in this case. And that's what she believed would be like a mega thing if she would do something like this and prove that stuff. Uh, and truly a nut, my sister, uh, took me to the hospital, to the Nova Mesto General Hospital in 2016, where she started to play with the cancer. Uh, at the General Hospital Nova Mesto, where she would drag me as she first started in 2015 and there was no cancer. Uh, in 2016, uh, there was still no cancer. Uh, holy shit, maybe in 2016 already was a big happy face on her, all over her face. If it was not, it was in 2017. Finally, it was a cancer. Oh, and the thing is that every time she took me to the hospital, to the general hospital of Novo Mesto, where they take blood, it was the physicians, it was nurses that were engaged in nothing but death threats. And that department where I would be delivered to take blood, it was nothing but death threats. If you're going to say about your sister, if you're going to, your sister, and it was also other people, this guy, this is the one who caused this, and it was doctors and nurses, uh, we are going to kill you, you're going to come here, and you're going to be this, and oh, you did this, and so on. And boy, it was torture. Through the sleep deprivation, through the hospital, through all kinds of private parties that would take me on a site. <laughs> My mother won this game, so...
nothing I can do. <laughs> nothing you can do. I don't want to stop this. Like I said, this is a brain fart, waste of time, but it's got to be documented. It concerns my father's visit also yesterday. You know, they were teaching my father to show the middle finger to me. Next to, next to the problems they created to me, they were teaching my father to show the middle finger to me. And it just, my father is very specific. It just didn't appeal to him the middle finger. He claimed that he's an older generation. And they translated to me. He made sure I would understand. Instead of the middle finger, it would be the fig. He made quite a few of them to me. Not a middle finger, but that kind of stuff he did, and they make sure that I understand it equals to this stuff here. Now we're going to the room next door here. For me, it comes shocking that. For me, it comes shocking that my sister, for whom everybody also claimed, never visited my father in the hospital, was involved in this crime, in this very crime. Not only police, she was involved all along. All right, so I'm going to try here. Uh, what was shocking, what's shocking to me is simply the fact that my sister was involved in this stuff all along. This is what, what, what really shocked me. This, is, this comes to me as a shock because I really, uh, I thought that she is just, she demanded to be silent about it all. She wanted for me to be completely silent about it. She didn't want for me, she didn't want to hear absolutely anything from me. Uh, and what mother did yesterday with this, uh, with this setting of this uh, plants over there at the entrance to our home, She was sure that that uh, it would hurt me or whatever. But the thing is that I want to say thank you. I want to. I'm very grateful to it because I wasn't sure what's in it. Where is my sister about all this stuff? Supposedly she never visit my father, not in a hospital, not at a home for elderly people. But my father, if you recall, did call my sister by the name Bisarka Bisarka. He was doing the shit to me during my visits. Well. She was very, very, very much in it. My sister, in case I would reject my father, uh, in case I would not go along, uh, there is no such thing, I hope you understand, but this is what she claimed. If you would 
be nasty to the father if you would uh, this how the fuck can you be nasty to somebody that is showing you basically for your visits for your dear time that you dedicate to one uh and you really suffer health problems and you would be really better off with job and you would be really better off uh doing your stuff finishing your stuff and doing the stuff and you go and instead of that you get the middle finger in the face uh that's not very nice but there is no such thing as if you would not and this and that you know my sister was certain sure certain that she will eventually get me killed she was psychiatrist peter Kops. my sister was a police my sister was one of the people who was involved all along and contemplated on the worst that prayed for the worst that would somehow even happen to me anyways she did participate in it and did come up with idea to stress in my face ultimatum you should never take seriously the people that do harm like this to you uh gesturing you in front of somebody who tortures you that in case you would turn against one and so on uh that she would go and do something like this or something like that or whatever because these are the people that are going to go they're in the game to destroy you anyways you should never take people like this serious and i'm glad i have not because it's a gang it's a gang of extremely dangerous criminals that could easily cost me life in this case i have very successfully stood up against this and with a pride i'm gonna i'm gonna accent have paid visits to my father despite everything that was done to me to obtain final proofs about the police crime against me i should say family crime against me they are very dangerous people extremely dangerous people who already had caused enormous amount of pain and suffering to me regardless of how things are going to even come out that's why i said i'm unwilling to negotiate with these people it's my mother as the last one that i consider to give a chance if she is willing to undergo interrogation with the police as a normal individual should in this kind of circumstances and if she's not to the hell with her just so as long as i know that she gets punished like the worst criminals get punished likewise for other family members i will be okay because from that moment on i'm going to make sure that you get what you deserve you're going to call me mentally ill get me basically killed call me mentally ill all my life destroy me 50 51 years of life and think you're going to get away with it even in front of the police basically where i would be making sure that they don't actually do something bad to you so that you have the right to tell so that i can protect you you don't fucking get away from that kind of stuff that's one thing so my sister in 2000, beginning the 2015 probably 2014 already did not get positive on a cancer and she would keep coming back again and again to this general hospital in Alamesto. and it started to bargain on how it would be if she would get a cancer anyway that it would be good for her to get a cancer because it would be a way out it would have a legitimate reason uh analysis done a record and so on and so forth uh that would prove that she does have a cancer uh and then she was trying to actually even cash this kind of stuff that you would not she but it would be my niece that would get paid her daughter basically her husband that they would be awarded somehow the family would profit from behind they learned to suck basically from the people at the top from the politicians from the special interests uh in a such a proficient way that not even losing life in a process if you understand the meaning of the corruption 
uh, would matter to them. That is what I find truly fascinating. My sister, with what you have seen, those plants and stuff like this, was assuring me how, uh, I'm going to accent and then I'm going to demonstrate you some of this that father gave me and basically what I did go all along to the father at home for elderly people, to the hospital and so on, uh, so that you get basically an idea about what these visits of mine were used for, so I can give you. Uh, they were very, very unsatisfied, very, very unhappy with me, uh, with the way I conduct myself, with my conduct yesterday, uh, because I played in a knowledge that um, I'm unwilling to support this kind of mental illness anymore. I'm not the one who is mentally ill. Uh, but, my God, I asked my father yesterday, do you, do you realize where you brought us all? I mean, he is right there in front of the TV, that home for elderly people, where psychiatrist Peter Kopsch was demonstrating me literally videos, all kinds of stuff, torch had uh, medical staff, nursing staff, uh, tortured me on, the, on, that, on that very same bed, uh, and he's wasting his dear fucking time at age 91. He is laying over there and wasting fucking time anticipating that maybe there will be something in me that would actually justify uh, what he always claimed to everybody involved in MK Ultra, in fact, that I'm mentally ill. So I, I said yesterday, I said to that, fuck that. For me, it's enough of it. And you're going to see exactly why I say that. Uh, it's a mental illness, and it really doesn't matter. Uh, I don't want my father as mentally ill. I don't wish this to anybody. Uh, I feel pity for him. Uh, he's, he's, he's pitiful. He is, he is, uh, he's laying out there uh, on that bed as I'm demo about to demonstrate you. And it was all kinds of stuff they brainwashed on uh, with a single thought in his mind that basically it would be something that would somehow, as I stated, rationalize his what is other than violence, stuff like this, when you do this to your own son? I don't know what, what possibly could be it. Uh, this is a stuff that's not normal. Uh, somebody's coming to visit you. Uh, you just uh, use his visitations to basically abuse one uh, and use for abuse as the credentials, your age and uh, physical status, which a physicians uh, assign you, opposed to his age, opposed to his uh, situation. This is just. This is. This is just. Uh, uh, Next to the fact that you went on to to screw his entire life, I don't know what to tell you. This it doesn't get more pathetic than this. You must be truly pathetic individual to do the stuff like this, to contemplate on the stuff like this, to assist somebody uh, in this kind of dealings. You must therefore not be less guilty than the people I have discussed earlier. People that have committed themselves are going to prove something that never ever existed absolutely anywhere else than in the heads of the politicians who needed a Nazi who needed to portray somebody as something that it, it doesn't matter, even for the cost of whatever, even if he doesn't have absolutely anything to do with it, so they can realize their plan, uh, their grand plan, basically a really if you look at the Vladimir Putin itself, if you look what's going on throughout Ukraine, you can agree with me that SS and Gestapo during the World War II did not commit atrocities like this in many cases.
Russians committed incredible stuff, and it's exactly like in my case, they committed one against their, what they refer to them as brothers, basically Ukrainian people. This shit started to run deep in a family. Uh, it's scary. It's scary to note that, uh, but it's necessary to note. It's necessary to condemn it. It's necessary to stand up. It's necessary to stand up and to destroy evil like this. Condemn and destroy to make sure that the evil is aware is not going to get past. The time comes when you have to stand up for your right. The time comes when you have to defend your right to exist. And if you have to, if you have to, and if you already have to defend your right to exist, then you have to defend one in a such a way that your adversary, obviously your enemy, that is trying to wipe you from the face of the earth will acknowledge, uh, we have the world acknowledge one as completely unacceptable, as completely indifferent as the one he is preaching about uh, in respect to his past and how he suffered and so on and so forth. And this is not really my legacy. I really don't have anything against national resistance, anything against partisans. But what am I left with other than to expose this Slovenian murderous genocidal hypocrisy? When I stated to you that it was the first one, Jan Zekovic, Dr. Jan Zekovic, that went on to falsify the file, medical file, beginning the 19, probably beginning the 1994, at the request of the police. It was already in a newly independent Slovenian state where you had people like Boucher, Janez Jansha, uh, I don't know, Oman, uh, Katsin, all these politicians uh, claiming that we have a Slovenian state, that we, we are an independent country, we are an independent nation, that finally we are free and so on. How the fuck do you have basically Serbs falsifying you, your medical file, uh, and then with the assistance of the police, basically compel Slovenian physicians to also falsify, to contribute to falsification, to the medical file falsification. How the fuck you do this? The last one who completed the falsification of a medical file, as I stated, I think that's, that was a female that was my physician. I think it was Gazwada or whatever. She was a blonde lady or whatever uh, that had me. And I couldn't understand what the fuck she wants from me. In 98, she had me, and in 2000, well, in 1995, beginning January, I was in the United States of America without ever exiting one for no less than 11 and a half years. Never ever was in Europe, absolutely anywhere in Europe, or anywhere in the world for that matter, other than in Ecuador, where my ex-wife is from, Quito from the main city, Quito, on three occasions where I went with her to visit her relatives. Claiming me that she told me that she's writing my medical file. She was the last one, Janko, nurse Janko, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. You claimed it was Jan Zekovic already that did this stuff in, in, in uh, 1975, basically. They started to falsify me a file in Yugoslavia. They did not. It happened in independent Slovenian state. In newly independent in 1991, Slovenian independent state, that they started to falsify medical file, using the physicians from my childhood to falsify the fucking medical file. You understand? What police, what kind of independence? What kind of independence? You falsify the fucking file for, you, for what used to be Yugoslavia, basically. You went on to falsify the file. The last one was a Slovenian because she didn't want to falsify the file. She said, you still have chances to get them, to grab them, uh, to take them down before they're going to take you down. But because you're not doing anything, she said in 98, she was already playing with my medical file, and in 2000, I understand, she completed one. You understand? You complete, you falsify one in a newly independent state. Finito was in year 2000. I'm going to tell you exactly who falsified what 
in respect to this incident at Candia, at Tardinova Ulica, where our old house used to be in the center of the city. I'm going to tell you exactly how it was, who it was, how it was. My sister at the General Hospital Novomesto involved medical stuff against me. It was already other people at all departments of the hospital that they involved. And it was always the police that would deliver me where they were taking the blood samples, the blood for me, and they were testing me for whatever they were testing me, uh, wherever blood samples they were collecting that um, they would they would use it would be physicians and stuff like this they would approach and uh, use me basically on the site for their projects to do to get whatever done whatever they needed in life whatever corruption total corruption crime rampant rampant crime supported by nothing other more than a total sleep deprivation when this shit started you could go days without any fucking sleep without any rest you would only see the parents coming from direction of a, a lobby, basically here, um, Hodnik, I don't know how they say that, uh, in, in, into the kitchen area, basically. All night long, you would be with some idiot would come and then it would change, it would be another idiot that would sit next to you sometime in front of the computer, this year would be fucking barely over there. It was not always like this. Whenever I, I went to sleep, they slip right next to me. They measured absolutely everything, every inch, every millimeter of what kind of impact. That's why I told you that this police investigators, they easily could get a medical degrees. These people were more into the medical field, uh, learning uh about all the body organs how it all functions what kind of food what kind of impact have on body what this and that these people have incredible health i mean that condition their health must be must be incredible the guy that met me at the police station uh over a year ago th this guy must be like in a super 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 health he must be like a super super healthy he would be probably one of the people that with a job like this, with taking care of himself like that, this guy is probably uh, like a super, super, super healthy person. Um, some drink alcohol on the side and stuff like that, but uh, I know that guy was in a prime condition and is in a prime condition because of the stuff I stated to you. They were taking notes, they were writing down in their notes what kind of impact this have on the body, what kind of impact on what parts of the organs and so on. All this kind of stuff. Um, it was American Food Service, it was American Health Association, whatever, Heart Association also, all kinds of associations, FDA, you name it, you fucking name it. They were testing the products on me. So you understand when I when I said about my niece that she only did like maybe two thousand products that she evaluated for the cancer and for different issues on me. This was nothing other than a fucking lab. Uh, when people from the states would come, uh, and they would refer to this as a lab, and and I was like, what the fuck? What kind of lab? I mean, I didn't understand. I was really angry, agitated. Uh, they gestured that you write the stories here and stuff like this in this house and this and that, you know, I was, I was, I was so insulted. I was so hurt, you know, the same, like that I have a lab and I'm fucking cooking here, uh, you know, stuff and so on. Uh, this was a lab, this house, the stuff that went on inside and here that they were doing, they were playing with the stuff. Uh, and also the general hospital, uh, home for elderly people. But at the general hospital, after hours and this and that, and uh, Ljubljana Hospital, Clinic Center Ljubljana, with this departments, I told you, for, uh, for the patients with uh, a liver problem, all kinds, of, all kinds of stuff like this, cardiovascular, 
department at the clinic center of Ljubljana and so on. They contemplated on how I'm going to have a heart problems and uh, I'm going to need the heart surgery and all that stuff. It just got to me something that might be actually extremely beneficial to me. But I'm not going to say what, but that would be nice if it would get through. Um, my sister, for the first time, it was either 2016 or it was 2017. And for the first time, from what I know, it was in 2016 that she tested positive for the cancer. If we're going to go over her medical files, it was at the General Hospital of the Nova Mesta. Uh, and uh, then it was 2017 and that it really uh, boosted enough that she could become like really interesting, important person in this case, from what I recall. Um, um, I think they boosted cancer in her. This is basically my personal opinion. I think that they artificially, literally artificially seeded cancer in her as per her personal request. She ha was in a world of conspiracy theories that when you sleep with the other people, that they do the stuff like this to you and so on. Sure, they get you an MK Ultra. There's nothing they can do they can, that it can be done to you. I completely agree with it. Sleeping with the people you don't know, uh, strangers and stuff like this is not a smart idea. Definitely not, because you can easily disappear. Uh, but really, all in all, uh, here is the thing that I gave you. This is my account. She wanted the cancer. She was crazy about getting the cancer boosted because she believed she would be playing with the cancer. That would be, you take this and you... I don't know anything about fucking cancer. I don't know anything. All I know is that under MK Ultra, I would get cancer pills. I would get, it was all kinds of stuff they would do. Don't remember they would do any kind of radiation and stuff like this. Uh, but they did give cancer pills. Um, and as for the rest, it's like my father would suggest people to lure them into this stuff. He's mentally ill. He's mentally ill. And it was, according to psychologists and psychiatrists from abroad, it was the main magnet for the people to get involved. When you tell them, present me as mentally ill, they felt like they have nothing to risk. And before you know, they would be on board and they would get themselves into this game. They refer to this stuff as a game. But the thing about the game is that if you're crazy, you're crazy. If you're not crazy, you're just, it doesn't matter. Even if you, if you pretend that you're crazy, um, you're just not crazy. You have everything basically, you know, in order, in a sequence, the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I think that if you're not crazy, you don't have anything to worry about. If you're not crazy, you should also never allow anyone to prove you wrong. Um, but when it comes to cancer issues, playing with the cancer issues, you know, um, it might have a different effect on everybody. Uh, certain people might be more resistant to the cancer. They told me that I am like, I don't know, ultra resistant to the cancer. Is this true? I don't fucking know. Uh, they wanted me at least to say that I am like uh, completely, um, I don't know. It was all kinds of stuff that, that cancer can't do anything to me. I don't know anything about fucking cancer. That's why I said, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about the stuff I don't know. I don't look, I don't know anything about the cancer. Okay. Uh, for myself, I am dealing with the issues I have gone through during MK Ultra that they were using to advance as much as possible. 
if you remember when I told you about the check mark, so they were going through the check marks. Yeah, the check mark and every check mark meant a problem. The different dots and the different parts of the body is what these police investigators insisted me. This is what they were doing basically. And how many times? Every time when an MK Ultra would take place, they would have a list, they would have a papers, and they would do the check marks. And every time when there would be a new area that would open on a body, uh, they would add this to the list and they would make sure that it would be through the MK Ultra butchery processed as check marks that in fact I did demonstrate it again another cancer location on the body that I would be faced off with uh, when basically like this thrown into element like that just like this without any anything whatsoever uh, when you play with a cancer this isn't the same thing like my father did um, I can guarantee you I am not insane I can guarantee you I am very, very much sane. I can guarantee you that I'm probably the sanest person in this world. Nobody has as wealth concerning mental health as I have. Um, this, however, is a problem. It's a problem because I don't want to be seen barking on a microphone in a camera uh, and be pursued as, uh, just as I referred to Joe Biden, yes, as a goofy fuck, basically, like a, like a goof machine. I don't want to be seen like this. Um, I don't want to be wasting my time, uh, my precious resources anymore. I lost 52 years almost of my life. I didn't have any kind of life. Uh, so bragging about that I have something based on a number of the chocolates I ate, cakes, and all kinds of shit to amortize, to soften the degree, the level of the genocide that took place against me is no fucking way to go. Yes, I am mentally healthy, mentally fit, and all that. But that does not do much shit. That doesn't do shit for me, really, in situation I am. Cancer. Nobody can guarantee you if I introduce one into your body, uh, whether your body is going to have the same kind of response to the cancer cells. And as you know, there are different types of cancer. Uh, as to mine. So they even stated that they got themselves the same cancer I had, and then they, it was all kinds of problems they had, and they didn't uh, expect that kind of stuff, and so on. And I was guilty that they got the cancer and all kinds of stuff. Um, as for my sister, I have no idea uh, if she got herself a cancer, she started to play with a cancer. Uh, the cancer can easily get out of hand. It's, as I stated, chemistry of the body of every individual is completely different. Uh, so maybe my sister, rather than doing this stuff like this, should stop by and uh, see me as a human being. <laughs> uh, not maybe like what I suggested a little earlier, the police investigator, police officer that were involved in it, who got themselves in a world in which they became desperate, basically, to get me killed as fast as possible. They would go down on the knees, basically. They would get down, they would fall down on fucking knees. Not exactly like really, but in words, it would get into the ass, into the rears of Americans, Germans, they would pay visitations here, and they would bag them, fucking bag them, please. Can we at least do this to him? Can we at least do that to him? 
uh, can we do something however like this and when i mean by this can we do that and so on can we do something that is going to be irreversibly giving us a guarantee that this guy eventually will is dead that he will die away i have never seen people as desperate find themselves in their own world like you would go and and you would do the stuff like this and and i don't know and do so much stuff that you would have all your hands covered with the blood the people would already see you for what the fuck you are all over the place this guy's this guy's alive talking about this stuff this is what they were afraid of basically they were afraid of the stuff they were doing to me it it started to hunt them mentally they became obsessed with the idea to cause harm yet this harm literally was measured this harm literally was yeah measured is a proper proper term for this like this here that you see maximum and this will be the level that foreigners because obviously they have this agreement whatever would allow them only up to here the health would be only up to here could have impact on one not beyond and they wanted all the time beyond they were always asking for a final solution in respect to me they were not happy with the stuff they did to me they were not even happy with the suffering they caused with the harm with the trauma they wanted me dead at all the costs nobody's more dangerous than police officers with police badges actually excuse me nobody's more dangerous than police officers that dress themselves in a civil clothing you get it investigators whom you would not make the difference between the regular uh person you see on the street and the po uniformed police officer how do you say ununiformed police officer nobody's more dangerous than that nobody's more dangerous when in fact they have the support from entire police slovenian police force nobody from entire state from entire country it was a police station of a method that was 100 percent behind these people and with the people like this become desperate and as you know as a police investigator you have to be very very precise in your work you have to be very very detailed i should say in your work you have to really care be careful on how you the stuff you do uh that it's this little things that are so that makes the biggest difference that's where you basically sense uh essential for whatever you're trying to present to to whomever uh as the case and so on uh you can get more efficient murder machine killer machine than the people that you hire that do the job for you from the police force i don't know how much you agree with it but with the police force enforcing crime like i described uh you can get anybody more detailed about that stuff with support with the full support of the physicians doctors uh you can't you can't go beyond that stuff well that's exactly my case that's exactly my case so for me to relate myself to that for my sister I have taken that course uh against me as the whole thing it did not end with a morgue uh, i'm very much disappointed uh, it did not end with her dying away her the mk ultra uh with her ended up as dead and so on but during mk ultra she started to desperately contemplate again on psychiatric uh, hospital on how however she will get me no help that they will get me over there anyways and so on and so forth that's why i said uh when i started this case when i opened this case about father going to the home for elderly people uh hospital 
I did a really few very, very smart things. It was a really, really to keep the camera on. Uh, it was really everything according to MK Ultra scenario. Uh, However, the goodwill in this MK Ultra scenario is totally obsolete because of what I stated to you. It was a bestiality that went on in a general hospital, Novo Mesto, and as well as inside of the home for elderly people. I told you about the torture. One time they had me for an entire month, wrapped to the bed, tortured on the bed, uh, basically. At the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje, it was one day, the first day when they came here to pick me up. Uh, and I complied with them. Went to psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje. They, where they have, Dr. Rus was the one who ordered to use the shackles on me. Shackle me on the back without like, giving absolutely any kind of resistance. That was one fucking day. At the home for elderly people, they had me like this for one fucking month. Not shackled, but literally tied to the bed. Come on. With, with this uh, rackets, I told you also, with that kind of stuff. Why the fuck would you do this kind of stuff? I mean... What were, you, what were your obstacles? I mean, if you're saying that it's going to be for my benefit, that you're doing this for my benefit and so on. Um, you know, well, my father, I told you, they teached him to show me this instead. These people contemplated on my doing something really bad. When police investigators, and it was exactly the same thing yesterday when I approached again to, to this home for elderly people, were thrilled on several occasions. At least like five occasions, they laughed like crazy in my face. They were thrilled when they heard, when they promised them from Ljubljana, Milan Kucan, Bord Pahar, Slovenian Parliament, gave them a green light. They were thrilled when they told them the level of the sirens, ambulance sirens, will be exactly on the same level as to the one in the city of the New York. That's what they wanted. And this is what even Americans supported. To them, it was like interesting. It was like some kind of a freak show or something. Except that in this freak show, if, you're lo if you lose your, you know, if you lose your thermostat, if it goes wrong, you can really cause an incident. Because you know, you go outside on a terrace, you want to eat something, and you hear the sirens. Um, you get wake up by the sirens. You go to the city, you hear several sirens. You have uh, medical uh, vehicles, vans running straight next to you, like insane. Something they have demonstrated repeatedly during MK Ultra and stuff like this. Um, What can I tell you? Uh, this doesn't have anything to do with the police. Uh, when I am the one who pursued police career my entire life in the U.S., my I should say my my stay in the U.S. throughout my stay in the U.S. I pursued police career. I wanted a career in law enforcement, and did pass examinations and so on, or at least to work in corrections or border patrol and so on. I did this stuff, FBI, I did this stuff. And it just never came through, for that matter. Uh, and me dealing with actually people from the law enforcement, police officers that actually wear the fucking badges. Actually, they don't have badges. They get better salary, better pay, better work conditions than a police officer, uniformed police officers. Going through this kind of stuff, watching them doing this stuff to me. 
To me, this shit was fucking surreal because it prohibited me. Just for the law enforcement that you know, it prohibited me to even assume that it would be a law enforcement officer, police officer that would go and do me wrong. In California, it was Officer Brown who found, I have no idea how much money was it. I don't know. It, was it $2,500 or was it $3,500? I don't know. $2,500 or $3,500, it doesn't matter. That have fallen to me from the doorsteps of the truck. I was I was driving the truck. I was I cleaned the truck that was clean. They give me a new truck. So I wanted to keep the truck like brand new. Uh, and was cleaning this stuff and have forgotten the shoes in which it was twenty-five or thirty-five hundred dollars right at the doorsteps of the truck. And drove through the California, this Los Angeles, to the Long Beach, whatever. I did go for a swim. Um, Oh, I don't even know how. I already forgot how he's, how the hell he said that. But I only had a truck. I didn't have any any trailer with me or anything like this. I just raced whether I was going to park somewhere and go for a swim and throw myself in the water, whatever. I go along the beach. I didn't know uh, what to expect. And along the way, boy, I lost the, the shoe fell off the truck and there was money inside of that shoe. And then I returned back, and I walked that, uh, whatever that was, and uh, I parked the truck on the side, okay, all right, off the road. And I walk a very considerable distance uh, with a lot of cars going back and forth, back and forth, this busy highway, like five lines in one direction. Uh, and it was a, a, a patrol highway patrol that would come to me and that was in the states you know i don't know 2000 and whatever 2004 probably i don't know 2005 2005 um and or maybe even 2006 i don't know uh and it was these two guys with the motorbikes they asked me what the hell are you doing here man we got the call that, that there is a person hiking <laughs> Uh, along the highway uh, and that's just unusual because it's like five lanes in a single direction and you're going here and what what are you up to they asked me I said you know I told them you know uh, I had shoes you know I described them as shoes and there was a money inside and this is what I did I cleaned the truck and I drove and this shoe must have fall exactly here somewhere and so on uh i i quite wow on like i don't know 20 30 mile trail did manage i was just about maybe um they they told me all right man thanks uh, for the information uh which way you had in this way and uh they told they, we're going to go quickly through here to see maybe if we, we get something for you. Uh, I described in the shoes everything, and it was not even maybe five minutes. Maybe I was just a few hundred meters away from the shoe. Uh, it just would go, and it would just, in front of me, he would turn around, and it would come back, and he'd say, and one police officer was with me and this mr brown he would go and he would hear on the radio from a police dispatcher basically in los angeles he said that officer brown found the shoe stay there he's going to bring it uh, there is money inside and this and that how much exactly so much and so on and he would he, he simply would deliver me uh, the money to me in my hands basically those are the last dimes that I had basically because of what went on because they, they, they were doing the stuff that was completely bestial, you know. They were always making sure that whatever money I saved that I would end up wasting one on 
through unemployment like a tourist in Miami and so on. And it's, uh, you know. Finally, there was some money that I got because I was, I needed the money. I needed to recuperate myself from a total ruin, basically financial ruin. And I will never forget this stuff. And uh, for me to assume that there would be a police officer that would meet, you know, they said that physicians are obligated to work with one another. Uh, and they also claim the same thing for the police. You know, you have International Police Association, Interpol, all this stuff. Um, law enforcement that usually work from different countries together. Uh, but this, this is this is totally fucked up. This, this is this is totally totally fucked up. I I am. Hear me, I'm fucking speechless about this shit. This is this is this doesn't represent police in absolutely this in absolutely any way. This does not even represent mafia. This does not even represent gangsters or anything like this. Like somebody that's like, let's suppose that is doing out there, I don't know what, to the people, whatever. Uh it does not represent brain cancer. It does not represent cancer of any kind. It doesn't present uh, kidney or failure or liver failure or brain tumor or uh, whatever problem you might have, you know, uh, it, it represents everything. This isn't the case of MK Ultra. This isn't any kind of MK Ultra, whatever. This is just a really uh, crime enforced by, by the people like I described here that we're not in line even with the Gestapo, not even with the SS. And what really makes, what casts a really, really dark shadow, the darkest shadow of it all, is that these people are so proud about being uh, grandkids of the partisans, of the people that, that participated in the national resistance uh, against the Nazi Germany and so on. And taking such a pride in it, they were so proud about it. They were so uh, they were so they took they they took such an importance in it. The action is such an importance on who they are and what they are, how proud they are, and this and that, uh, while pointing me. As for my being something, I really had nothing to do with, and I didn't even know how I would feel about those things in 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 the real world, because MK Ultra is all about the survival. So, based on this shit, is what these people were creating uh, some kind of non-existing character that I could, in absolutely no way, relate to in real time. I started to get angry. I started to get upset with I, I i basically i rejected absolutely everything i didn't see myself anymore in absolutely anything uh when it comes to slovenia it's just um, um this uh sticky nose into the issues that i had nothing to do with not that they were pertaining to me, fuck you. I mean, just so that you had something to do, so you get your job promotion and stuff like this, doing the stuff like this. This is nothing what I was fighting for when it comes to independent Slovenia. And I told you exactly what my part in Slovenian independence was, what kind of role I played in it. So I don't know what to tell you about this stuff what I could be proud about, how I could see myself in it, how I could see things different than uh, Mr. Frank Sinatra did. I think that uh, Frank Sinatra was Italian uh, and he was American. I think that he loved Italy, uh, but he loved America equally. He just wanted to accent that he doesn't want to be part of any negative, anything that would have to do with something that is, um, he felt about me absolutely positive. Um, that I'm okay guy, basically. He just 
didn't want to accept uh, any kind of uh, you know distorted uh, reality threats the people the people would go and they would pressure people one another also in the US and so on and it was all kinds of tensions that this political intertwangled and twisted uh, with his politicians and so on he just didn't want to be part of any of it you know and uh, he was just not ashamed of being an American and I think I have no idea but uh, being American is actually very nice uh, if the society of course is not screwed up entirely uh, as for what this case was used for basically in, in, in many ways not necessary that this would have anything to do with me it did have a lot to do with the people that it never ever should have the people that should be in fact grateful to one for everything uh, the people who became extremely wealthy in the United States of America uh, that came from nowhere with a poor background and became something uh, that they should use to become role model to their own community and people and have instead taken uh, the foreign interests in consideration rather than what I stated to you uh, there is a lot of stuff like this in the US and but this is really it's not up to me to resolve these issues um, as for my father what I can tell you is basically I can tell you the following um, yesterday when I came to my father Cheer. Uh, of course, the light bothers him. We already know all that stuff. We know this stuff here. This was the October the 20th, 2003. Uh, 1855 is ours. 6.55, basically. 6.55 p.m. And uh, I rushed to the rest of my rest here to destroy it and go destroy it and replace the phone uh, but then when I go to the toilet uh, I see yeah. it's here yeah. that's the stuff I haven't seen yet um clearly this is something new uh but today I mentioned about the blood in urine and somebody seems to yeah yesterday I posted the video basically about this stuff here right about this kind of stuff I posted the video. I posted a video about what I presented as a urine, uh, unacceptable, basically, health condition under which not only circumstances, I, I am doing this kind of stuff. Uh, and in this video, what else was more visible than the urine I presented, right? right? right. This is this is basically what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, that people watch yeah. my program from uh, these people at home for elderly or hospital or whatever. I don't have to accent any of this stuff. This I don't have to accent you. When I mentioned a little bit the issue of ambulance sirens, the issue of police sirens. All kinds of intimidations like this that they have used it in MK Ultra and they, they continue to use. Something I was promised is going to match the city of New York. Uh, city of the New York is worse. I found myself in the city of the New York. And in the city of the New York, uh, I think it was Biden even who said, now you're in the New York, whatever. Do you hear the difference? And I said, what? It was about the sirens. It was, well, well, well. there is like a lot, but this is New York. But, you know, when it comes to the sirens, the city of the Novo Mesto is, matches and exceeds 
Lodz. Uh, basically, Lodz, the Polish city, has over 500,000 people. That's about 20 times more population than what the city of the Novo Mesto has. Uh, it's not okay. They play with the sirens, ambulance vehicles, all kinds of stupid shit that goes on. It's just not all right. Um, when I say about this kind of stuff, when I say to you about what is this? Your father laughs. All right, okay. I'm gonna go here. Maybe. Cheers. I am just gonna go this way, and I'm gonna present you this. Year. What do you think? This I is? could almost swear that uh, the siren was uh, somebody's plane with a maybe even with this phone or something like this. It was the lady, the blonde lady. This is a telephone from the blonde lady, a nurse that works there. That's actually a very kind lady that sided with me and wanted to help me and so on and so forth. But the truth is that she did, she let this lose itself. That's why I tell you that people watch my program a lot. Uh, she did play the siren that evening. Because it was not the same siren as to what usually the sirens are. And you can see this is the hope for elderly people where my father is. So, and she said, and you're going to have this. She said to me, you're an empty ultra, and you can use this as a proof and this and that. But here's the thing. The way is this shit is sorted in my head, uh, I wouldn't want her to get in trouble because it's not necessary for her to get in trouble. Uh, Employees at ambulance department in the Novo Mesto are swines. They are swines, make no mistakes. Uh, These ambulance drivers uh, at the city of the Novo Mesto, the general hospital, they're not any good people. And I don't want the good people to get in trouble because of what goes on out there. When I go out there, uh, to the city or wherever the hell I go. It's a fucking siren school at night. So it's really not necessary for her to take the stuff upon her. As you see, the date is October the 14th, 2023, during which visit, again, the sirens went on and this and that. Um, I don't want decent people to get in trouble because of swines. Uh, the ambulance drivers, they called me. Some are going to be even doing this stuff like this because some of them are going to be losing jobs. I was even told. It's also that kind of stuff I was told in MK Ultra that will, they will prompt, it will prompt them to you to overly to over excessively use sirens. So this is very generous. This is very nice. Uh, I've seen phones placed right just the way you see it right there already before in the past. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't see. I didn't coordinate with whether there were also sirens during my stay there, I can also go over that kind of stuff. But that evening was, and there was this nice lady that tried to actually intervene in this by maybe what I felt even dividing blame for the ambulance, sirens, whatever. Uh, this kind of playing with play with this ambulance sirens, um, this is just something I already completely explained about it. I already clarified this issue here. Uh, going back to father here with this issue. When I came yesterday to the father, there was sirens out, you know. Here on the 14th, it was, uh, it was that kind of stuff. You know? I was going to position the camera, sit next to father and see uh, how, you know, what we can do, you know. Um, 
whether we can watch movies or we can talk, what we can do and this and that. Before I came to him, there was sirens that were blowing just not far from this home for elderly people. It was like, wow, wow, and so on. Um, uh, you know, it's over, it's excessively used when, you know, the sirens, what the fuck are you gonna tell me? It's, look at the time of the hour, and basically it's, get inside of the ambulance vehicle, turn the fucking siren on and stops one where? Basically, where do you stop the siren? Then comes the show. He's asking me, where did I go to? You know what my problem here with this stuff here is? I have a problem. I got a big problem. This is a very idiotic question. He asked me, where did you go? Now you're gonna say, what the hell is you? What's what's up with you, man? What's 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 not wrong, you know? But this it's a problem. It's a fucking problem. I can give you the videos where I offer my father a hearing aid. I clean his hearing aid, I prepare his hearing aid, I bring the batteries, I make I give him my own hearing aid, and he is fucking around with it. He even hit me for trying to help him with a hearing aid so he could hear me so you come for a visit to the guy and you don't know what the fuck you're going to do because of the stuff he did now think about what he did the time before when he claimed that he got cuts all over the belly open wounds because he felt according to mk ultra scenario that he maybe would go and start to exercise and you feel so good about that he wants to exercise, you want to help him out, and even that you shouldn't because it's too late. You try to make a few steps with him, give him a little help with exercise so that you could start to rehabilitate him. What he turns into a total fuck up, screaming, uh, and even claiming that he's got open wounds all over the body till the nurses come inside and start to yell at you. Uh, what the fuck are you still doing there? Why don't you go? Because father doesn't allow you to lift him and put him in the bed. They eventually grab him and throw him in the bed, basically. But I can't do that stuff, you understand? Because of the nature itself of what he created, basically. Claiming that I was involved in a physical, actually in a domestic violence against one. In a physical violence against one at home, basically. That's what he, with my sister, or I should say on behalf of my sister and my niece, filed at the police station at the Novel Mesto against me. This is based on what I was thrown inside the psychiatric hospital with the mother and so on. So me taking a chance to have individual like this just going and trying to do something uh, is completely out of question because it's the psychiatrist that is too fucking civilized that knows all about the abuse that knows all about the domestic violence about the physical violence and is barely waiting to prove one i would not take any chance that's why the cameras always roll when i go there and that already puts my father into a really crazy light so he asked me where did you go and i realized I realize just how mentally ill he is. I see him over there laying down. In a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate to you what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch replayed to me. Something people that were even used in MKUltra, musicians. Before he just did this, I'm thinking about, wow, um, I, aren't you basically sorry for yourself to lay down like this at 91, uh, doing to yourself, to your health, stuff like this, rather than follow like 
procedures that normal people would do to help themselves. Uh, and I feel like me fucking coming here, answering on your question, uh, is like a bonus for the psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch. I feel like at that point that my visits to the father are actually meaningful only to one person. And that's a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, because I engage in some kind of, hello, man, it's nice to meet you uh, in the face of somebody who is blind, who is deaf. You understand what I'm saying? It makes no fucking sense to ask me if I go somewhere or I was doing there, even if I'm fucking stupid. When you don't even allow me to put the fucking hearing aid in your ears so that we could talk, you get it? So that I come close like this and I, I try to whisper in your ears and you, 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 you do stuff like this so that, that what? I have to fucking do stuff like this so that you can hear me because you don't want me to put the fucking hearing aid because fucking hearing aid is like bananas or apples. You get the point? What's the fucking point asking me where the fuck I was, what the fuck I was doing, where the fuck I'm going, or if I'm from the moon, if, because he's trying to portray the case of as total dementia with his psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch. What's the fucking point of asking me this stuff? The point is, it's called gaslighting. It's the same shit like those sirens that were used prior to my arrival. Now, the thing is, this is so fucking primitive. I wouldn't even go as a psychiatrist if I want to fuck somebody to do to the person that is cleaning the street or is working in a, a cement block construction or something like this, uh, or placing bricks for the houses or whatever he's doing. Uh, let's say some kind of a physical worker that is overwhelmed by the physical struggle work uh, too much to exposed to pain, suffering, to afford himself any kind of emotions, basically, and becomes like a machine, basically. You get it. This is so fucking primitive. And I got a feeling also that the people that psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, as to what British royals insisted, they would get paid for involvement in the case, and they would also get paid in respect to the outcome of whether I would uh, identify them or not, and so on, that kind of stuff. So I got a feeling that my going out there, it's like filling the pocket of some kind of crazy psychiatrist over there that has really uh, earned the fucking retirement based on butcheries against me. So basically, I'm going out there to give more hope for something I shouldn't be anywhere fucking near. And I started to get angry because I see idiot laying on a bed uh, and just trying to pull something for his master. Now, I've seen Serbs coming to Slovenia without nothing, uh, marrying females, making children, uh, if not taking over, building themselves houses, homes. Uh, and I seen what was my father that took entire family into the fucking shit, basically, down the hell. And acts, fuck, this guy's my father. Yesterday, I saw this loser in a very, very different light. And I got enough of it. It was so much stupid when he asked me stupid question that had nothing to do because he is pretending like he's completely delusional and he doesn't know what he's doing and this and that. That I wouldn't even bother this time to ask him if he wants the fucking hearing aid because it was so many times before he used the opportunity for me to prepare the hearing aid 
so that he could rebuff me, so that he could express basically disgust for my offering him assistance, help, uh, willingness to communicate. And I don't know what the fuck is the idea of the visit to somebody, to your loved ones, if not exchange of words. To him, it appears it bothers him. To him, it appears he only wants me to engage myself in his mental game. Game of his owner, psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, and Novo Mesto Police. Think oh, I'm quiet. I don't answer anything. I'm going to put this video right below. It makes me no fucking sense. I'm watching the video instead of what he's doing. The TV is what I'm watching. Uh, there is a video spot. They play now. The video spot is saying, Anja in Alenka, something like this. Uh, no longer together by the new year. And I recall the police investigators whom psychiatrist Peter Kopf would continually ask. He would get these musicians from Slovenia together and those would just for a little sign of attention for whatever they were doing that stuff, they would present video spots that uh, he could somehow relate himself, his schizophrenic talk to me on the side on how I should pursue these videos as uh, psychiatrist Peter Kopp was completely insane about the music because I like the music. He made sure that with the assistance of the police that he was mis misinterpreting every song he would find on my computer, every song that I would listen for me to see like well, basically, this guy wanted me to hate life, whatever is to life. Uh, I'm not going to say from spectrum. He wanted me to turn the whole thing into the black and white issue, basically. He wanted to take all the colors away from life. He wanted to take all the sounds away from life. He wanted to take absolutely every joy from life. Uh, he wanted to make me hate life uh, because this guy worked. For four years, he was trying to compel me into a suicide. It's a simple thing. When you do the stuff like this to the person, what the fuck are you trying to do to the person if not compelling one into the suicide? It's a simple thing as this. In the video spot that I'm going to present to you next, and with the people that were involved in MKUltra, you're going to see somebody singing and, and this and that, some even involving, again, uh, ambulance vehicles and stuff. And this is basically what they play. Um, the channel, it appears, um, which was a radio, I don't know I what. I think that he completely missed the case already. Um, Andre in Alenka, the, the couple no longer will be together by the new year. So, because of this shit here, I decided I'm just going to pay attention to this kind of stuff because this is what he was paying attention to. He doesn't want to communicate with me. He doesn't want the hearing aid. He doesn't want this. He doesn't want to watch videos. He doesn't want to interact. He doesn't want to exercise. This, this is all right. So. This is what I came for. All right. So what I do is I pay attention to the stuff, people that were involved in MT Ultra. Uh, I, they did brought me to this video spot when they were doing repeatedly and threatened me that the psychiatric hospitalization. So I decide I'm going to pay attention basically to his owner, psychiatrist Peter Kopp. All right. So let's go. So my father basically managed at his age 91 to get all the way up to here. I don't know what you think about the father like this. But I know what to think about the father like this. I, I understand. I came to... How many scenarios they involve in this uh, video spot right there during MK Ultra butchery, torture? is even impossible to tell, but you can imagine, basically.
Uh, and then, because of this bullshit that went on, it was time to go home, not to waste time anymore. So this was basically the visit uh, on October the 20, 2023. You were able to see... I told Father, you know, the stuff I did, I did to stay alive. I had to do this to stay alive. The stuff I did during MK Ultra in real time, I did this stuff to stay alive. So what you are doing, the stuff that you do, however, it's only the lunatics that do. Obviously, this man lost total respect for himself, and he is nothing other than a waste of time. This was. A record, video recording from October the 20th, 2023, which I'm going to post below. And then we have another one here. This one goes to... Ah, oh, let me see what else. I did go and check. Uh, what exactly is being played uh, because I see exactly the same program uh, but this was the stuff that was involved in MKUltra uh, I have to warn you and I'm going to use this as a proof also yes we're going to go back to the beginning here uh, the same channel that is being played at my father's room is being played also here that you see right here in this hallway in front of the nursing office right there. And nevertheless, I pulled the camera out and I wanna make sure I get this stuff here because what they're doing, what they did yesterday was exactly according to MK Ultra scenario for which, during which, okay, I'm gonna put it this way, during which I protested them and I claimed them that what, they were doing uh, during MK Ultra because they brainwashed me on the father's bed in front of the father on these videos. They had me in these video spots. Number one, they had me in these video spots. They abused. They presented all kinds of issues in them. Then what they would do is they would mix this stuff also with the torture inside of this home for elderly people where they would also use father. And so during MK Ultra, I even suggested. I suggested police if I would go and check uh, the stations that they uh, play. It was a very stupid stuff that based on which they also then, uh, in this case, they made a mistake. Uh, they complied with, um, how can I say? Um, they make the issue out of them, all right? So before I leave, I go downstairs and I go next to the nursing office and I look at that TV right there. And what do you think I see? I see that, uh, what is it, whatever, uh, whatever TV station that is, I don't watch the TV at all. I see it's identical as to the one my father has inside of the room. Now, my father has many, many stations, and this TV here also has many, many stations. However, it appears that both of these are on the same station. So I got some of that stuff too. They won't play with this kind of stuff. They wanted me the. It was about this ambulance vehicles, this video, it was other video for which they used issue and Zelenka no longer together by the new year. Before the new year, it will be me, my father, my father will do a role and that kind of stupid shit. So what I do is I grab the camera, I video record downstairs, and I go back to the father and I make sure I make another video recording to prove that is the same station. Uh,
this this is not this is basically what I'm looking for at which spot they play on both televisions because they're in MK Ultra I insist on them it's going to be a different channel most likely uh, what you're going to be playing inside a room uh, you're not going to be able to do stuff like this because already what you're doing inside a room doesn't have it's probably on a VCR video recorded or whatever and you're going to be playing me this stuff it's not going to work and so on I will know this and that and so on but the thing is that they made sure as I go downstairs and I ask nurses about whether is this internal uh, play yeah is this like internally transmitted uh, on a program or is it uh, yeah, or is it really a program, a TV program? And they assured me this is actually from the outside. It's a TV program. It's basically what they transmit throughout uh, Slovenia. Obviously, it's not involved. the same program, the same video spot, the same, the same. Everything is the same thing. So they try to make this thing look as normal as possible. Uh, they maybe uh, even obtain proof that I wanted to know whether is this. I did not suggest. I only asked. But according to MK Ultra, I asked if this is a cable TV or is this like internally transmitted TV. They say cable, yeah. Nothing. I asked about this if when I go home. Well, however, there is a problem. They have they have bigger problem than what I have. There is a problem. The problem is that they glue themselves into the MK Ultra scenario. For them to get the issue on a table. My asking them, according to MK Ultra, whether this is internal or is it external, they cannot go past a identical TV station they are playing. Yeah? If you pay attention, this is exactly identical TV station they played, a uh, cable station they played yesterday uh, during my visit to the father. And If I go back to this here, pay attention to this stuff. This is exactly identical TV station that was playing. I'm sure that you see ambulance vehicles by there, right? So for the cost of something, they gave me the proof basically that I needed to make argument for this visit father yesterday. This was recorded on October the 14th, 2023. And I come to my father, I say, hello, daddy, how are you? I put the light in a such a way so that I would absolutely not disturb one. I don't turn the light on inside of the room where his bed is, whatever, so that he could have maximum comfort. I ask him, how are you? This is the time, if you remember, uh, is the first time that I come after he did that stuff to me, when he started to scream that he that he that when I was trying to put him back in the bed, 
because he's got open wounds all over the stomach and stuff like this, which I took effort to video record and prove that he didn't have any kind of wounds, anything like this. And the whole thing was basically orchestrated, reorchestrated, repeated from MK Ultra, so to cause me problems. Uh, and when I come to him, I said, I come to him, hi, how are you? And I asked him, was it worth it? I put the thumbs up and I'm looking at him. But my father is deaf. He doesn't hear anything. He's deaf. He is completely deaf. He doesn't hear absolutely anything. Well, in uh, 2012, before he threw me inside a psychiatric hospital, uh, my father, despite being deaf, heard me talking to the German neo-Nazis at night. Yes, from his room, as was written on the police report, he heard me too, talking to the German neo-Nazis at night. Every night, all night long, I was talking to the German neo-Nazis. Well, I mean, if you would go over the internet services uh, and police should have, uh, police did have, uh, police had absolutely no proof for any such activity. Yeah, those are the, your internet service providers will demonstrate exactly what I visited at night because I don't have any kind of telephones, special telephones, communications that I could use to talk with a German Nazis at night. Uh, they could have realized that there was no German Nazis at night. There was no such thing that I didn't speak to any Germans at night, uh, that everything was inside of his head. Uh, or I should say in the head of the people that demanded from one to make such statements so that I could be thrown and destroyed inside of the psychiatric hospital. So I come here, I position this thing, and I say, good evening. I ask him, was it worth it? I said, how are you doing? I, I do the thumbs up like this. You know what he does? He does what I told you already earlier. Yeah, I do, I do it like this. And what he does is basically like this. Okay, so I do it like this. Thumbs up, thumbs up. And what he does is this. This, as I stated, a teacher in the MK Ultra, Andre Udit, neighbor here, top police officer did, to not show me this, but to show me this. He still did not want to show me this because this here is what was this here. Uh, in old times, the middle finger was equal to this stuff here. Yeah. So basically, we have again this. He showed me many of this. Yeah. So you go meet person to talk to person. Person is deaf, but doesn't want you to give him a hearing aid or whatever. And maybe he also show you some of that kind of stuff. Uh, after getting you in real trouble. Um, yeah, if you overstay, they can easily prohibit you from visiting your relative. Uh, and uh, you, you, you can actually have even a legal problem. Yeah, uh, they can actually, they can really uh, summon security. They can even connect themselves with the police if you are resisting, if you're causing trouble and you don't want to be compliant with whatever issue and so on. This is a normal procedure, basically. Uh, and it appears that uh, this is the nature of the visits I'm making when paying visitation to my father. This is basically what this is. It's obviously about mental illness. Oh, he is very persistent uh, with his feet. The guy Padelos, this what you some said. No, I say he. No. You can hear me. This is 
Ispred člana Luka, ko je? Zakaj pa delaš te stvari v sam svet? Ker sem ti povedal, da ne delaj tega v sam svet. I said, you gave me a fig. And I'm really handling it very well. I said, so why are you doing this to yourself? I told you, don't do this to yourself. He was certain that I will keep silent. You remember when I told you about all these subliminary signs that my mother is positioned all over the house and doing all kinds of hocus pocus? That I'm going to have a few days long video to present you all the bullshit they bombarded me with. And it's not going to be even presented anything. It's just going to be a few things around me here, but none of the stuff outside that went on. I, I'm not going to be, I, I, I don't have that much space that I'm going to go and video record absolutely everything. If I'm going to go and start to see myself in so many issues that uh, it's impossible to video record. Yeah, for so many years, they were doing this kind of stuff demanding from me myself to see myself and father and mother and so on in all kinds of issues. Uh, I, I'm afraid that people would really believe I'm insane or something like this. I don't want to record that kind of stuff. I'm only recording the stuff that people that will watch will easily understand and relate themselves to one. I don't want to go too far with it. You remember when I told you a little earlier about my mama? Uh, when I came yesterday at home and she posed at the entrance with those lights on and it was a police officer that got called flash to properly express myself. Uh, they weren't really sure whether she went off track or what's going on with her with this kind of stuff that she started to compare home entrance to the home after a good night walk basically through Smolenia Gora, uh, a little exercise uh, next to police investigators and myself uh, with basically a morgue, basically a, a, a place where you place deceased people before you take them on a final journey, it basically either cremate them or throw them inside of the grave, whatever, I mean, casket or whatever, I mean, come on. Now, yeah. look at this. He's giving me the sign because he can hear me. The man cannot hear me. He would like to hear. But I have, I don't know how many videos where I documented offering one a hearing aid, but disputed, refused to wear one, to have one. It drove me insane till I prefer. Always was the procedure. He drove me crazy that indicated that he wants to talk to me, that he wants to hear me, made me go to pick up the hearing aid, prepare the hearing aid. Once I prepared the hearing aid, he would ask me, what the fuck is this? When I was trying to gently insert in his ear by first demonstrating him, yes, I always make sure that the first thing I did I demonstrated one, the hearing aid, so that he see my intention as for what I'm trying to do. Apparently, it was a mother, and really was, and it was other people that would just go and push the hearing aid in his ears and became annoyed, agitated with that stuff, which I can completely understand. But I refuse to understand a politeness which I have provided next to the service for one, which he used afterwards to even ask me, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Wow. What the fuck is the hearing aid? You had one for, I don't know, 15 years. And you don't know what the fuck the hearing aid is? We are already so far. I mean, like giving like a blatant disrespect, basically, for absolutely every positive thing, every effort you do to make him feel better, to make his stay over there, even if it's a forced stay, even if it's something that he is compelled to do uh, as bearable as possible. You know, I didn't say, I didn't ask my father to be uh, politically correct 
or to give me a statement of any kind. I didn't have any kind of expectations. All I was trying to do is basically to make his state as pleasant as possible till I finish this complaint, submit one, and help one get back on his feet, rehabilitate one. That's all the fuck I did. And for that matter, basically, this is what you get. No, I am not interested anymore in his games with uh, in respect to hearing aid and stuff. Uh, I did demonstrate to you what plays just two days earlier. I think it was on October the 12th. What kind of circuit he made? It was a total lunacy, basically. Yelling, screaming inside, uh, causing me trouble for overstay uh, so the nurses could go and start to scream, yell at me over there. Come on. And he even was trying to get away with it with the claims as per having open winds on his stomach. Holy shit. Uh, what he does is, and the camera is not doing this very well. Uh, let me see if I can do this with this one here because this is very, very, very bad. Uh, the camera is did not catch the details that. Yeah, yeah, this is okay. This is better. Windows Movie Maker is doing better. That's why I'm a video recording this stuff. He is moving his hand like he is crazy. All nervous, right on the bottom, you can see it, like doing completely crazy stuff. Like he would be on a psychiatric medications, something like this. Then he's jerking with his legs and back and forth and stuff like this. I'm there. It would be nice to talk to you. It would be nice to communicate. We could do a lot of things. We could watch movies. We could go exercise. We could maybe exchange words, but okay, all right. You prefer it this way? We can do it this way. This is okay. So this is basically what it looks like. So now what he's doing is he's doing his scenario according to MK Ultra, for which, however, psychiatrist Peter Kopp stated him that if he would be doing this kind of stuff, uh, eventually, he would, through my video recordings, give a psychiatrist a permission to add a little psychiatric uh, medications to his treatment at home for elderly people. Uh, they stated me for doing the stuff like this, if they see you without even having any kind of reason, uh, they add you some extra psychiatric medications. What's interesting to note is that I don't in interact, I don't engage in any kind of behavior, uh, communication or whatever, but what I do, I do make a comment, unfortunately on a camera which I'm using right there, that doesn't make any damn sense. Uh, the camera I'm using is rather extremely poor, providing extremely, extremely poor picture, whatever they have done to this Android, to this phone, uh, it doesn't catch really, but what it does is, it gives me the chance to submit comment in English language. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch claimed that he did manage to progress in my father during MK Ultra torture, exactly what you see right there. Uh, but I think he is faking it. I think he's lying right now again. Uh, he has no reason to do the stuff like this because of me, because the two of us 
mostly had a good time whenever I came. I played him videos and stuff like that, and clearly everything he had done, he did this on his own behalf. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch also claimed that if father would be doing the stuff like this, uh, it would be used to intensify psychiatric medications against one so that he would receive more uh, medications for what he's doing right there. Once I have stated this, and this was in English, my father completely calmed down. He stopped jerking his hand, uh, like we say terma in Slovenian language, stubbornness. He stopped at once. He, it appears like he would understood English, which is rather strange. He immediately became normal. Uh, he believed that I am going to be sitting there and watching him basically acting like uh, he is like a mental patient. I told you about my father's derision for psychiatric violence against me. Father had a total derision for the stuff that went on with me. You know, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was during MK Ultra torture, uh, laughing in my face, ridiculing me, together with the police investigators, was, was laughing in my face during MK Ultra, claiming me that the medications I receive, the psychiatric medications I receive, remind uh, my close to the father, close to the patients who suffered stroke. I don't know how much do you understand uh, what I was talking to you about this video, but try to relate yourself to what I stated right now. Uh, he displayed a total derision, laughter in my face during MK Ultra with a police investigator for barely moving my jaws because this psychiatric pills, maybe it's because of the problems with the kidneys, maybe it's because of the problems with the liver, I don't know. But I know that, again, it comes to the chemistry, and for some people, if they do have problems with those, it might be much, much more intensive, if not totally, totally deadly, as the British physician in Britain appealed to the British royals that the next time, he told them it's not going to be next time, because whatever organ he claimed is going to completely fail him. was making fun basically for my barely moving jaws and had saliva running out of my mouth like i don't know if i ever did any video like this it was i i did have videos like this they should be on the internet uh but i could not even speak uh i felt that inside of my body it's another me that is trying to run out of the skin basically it would be all kinds of movements that that he would do to me that stuff uh the pain that i suffer due to those psychiatric medications night and day is basically impossible to describe because it was a, such a pain i told you that i would have oil literally coming out of the scalp it was not a water it was not a sweat or something like that. It literally what drops of oil, like the oil was dripping down from me for what nurses over there in Ljubljana in psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana told me they, it's impossible that this would be oil, you know, that they haven't seen anything like this. It was actually oil. Um, such a pain that I told my mother that eventually that, that they have to either tie me to the bed on Friday, when I should stay two days at home, which is everybody was looking forward to, especially if you were like in my situation that I was not, I was not at home, I don't know for how long, uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, six, seven, eight months, I don't know how long. And it was like first day, and the pain for the psychiatric uh, medications uh, was so terrible that 
uh, I asked my mother to please take me back to the psychiatric hospital because uh, I could completely lose myself in pain. I told her, I'm afraid that, uh, I don't know, I told my mom what, what can happen because if you suffer, suffer such an unbearable pain that you completely lose yourself in pain, it was written in the books that people have done all kinds of things in the, under the delirium to other people that you, you can completely lose control over yourself. Well, I was in this kind of condition. This is the degree of pain I had. Uh, when I would walk, uh, I every time it would be like I would stand up from the dead, basically. It would be like the pain, the suffering, uh, for the first uh, 500 meters that I made is equivalent to what you see from the very heavy psychiatric patients. And I told you that my roommate was somebody who chopped a uh, mother and put her inside of the fridge. This is the category of the people that they placed me in. Uh, uh, you see the psychiatric patients barely walking, some of them barely walking, barely even moving their legs. This is basically the way I was. Uh, and it was just this pure will to stand up against the physical pain for which my mother suggested, it's gonna be all right, it's gonna go past, it's gonna be fine, you're okay, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be all right. I told my mommy, it's gonna fucking blow me kidneys, it's gonna blow me liver i it's finished uh I'm, i felt like it's gonna explode everything inside of me for those psychiatric like, you're gonna be okay you're gonna be all right it's all good it's normal everybody has it like this yeah that's why i told you what i told you earlier in respect to my family members uh i don't have anything else i would add to this stuff uh what it takes a real beast a real animal to equal basically a physical pain, a physical injury that a military grade poison, you know, and the psychiatric medications that I was given uh, either equaled, and in many ways I was even told exceeded the suffering of the military grade poison that I was given during hospitalization inside a psychiatric hospital and obligated by the Slovenian courts to continue to constant them at home once uh, returned back into the home environment for people to actually make ridicule, to make fun of it, basically, of patients who suffered the stroke in your face, basically laughing in your face. I told you that this police investigators, officers, exceeded the cruelty of Gestapo or SS. I told you about that this Slovenian uh, I, I don't know. I I don't know anything like this. I, I was guilty because I was Slovenian, because I was proud to be Slovenian. So I don't know if this makes person a bad person. And that's why I told you about the Frank Sinatra that um, what he did to me, what he did for me, basically, to make me feel good, to make me feel welcome to him, comfortable around him. Uh, means to me a great deal. I see this in a very, very different light. Uh, I hope uh, there were some people even angry at him, Italian people for that matter, that this is, this is totally regretful for me to, uh, you know, I wish I was around there and get you in my hands, basically, tell you the truth, because I don't know what the fuck I would do with you. Uh, that you actually have audacity and, and stuff like this to get on the tail of somebody like this that you that you that you dare basically to 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 humiliate somebody and Frank Sinatra was proud you know he was this is just a man that was not ashamed he didn't have a reason to be ashamed of absolutely anybody that's of absolutely anything any part of what he was you know that's all the fuck he was trying to say 
just like I'm trying to say. Uh, and to have some nobodies, whatever people coming in your way and try to give you some kind of, uh, to tell you what is the right thing for you, how, what is the right thing, how, what to think and this and that based on, you know, tell me what the fuck you accomplish. You know, what, what have you managed in your life? What's, what I can learn from you based on your credential? What kind of credentials do you have to give me your advice to lecture me on how it should be, what it should be? The people that were around me, obviously, were not a very bright examples here in Slovenia. This is very, very poor. And this nation is, if you ask me, completely failed nation. This is not even a nation. This is nothing. This is a regular fuck up. You're going to go and kill, murder people that creates, contribute to, the, to your independence. Then I don't know. But, you know, Napoleon Bonaparte said, if you cannot be a good Corsican, you can also not be a good French. So I think that to you, Slovenian people, uh, you want to be a Yugoslav people and think you can be fucking anything because you're not even good as a Slovenian people. You're not even good as people. Uh, and as such, in Yugoslavia also, I think it had a lot to do with it. It also went into pieces, probably. It got a lot to do with this also. It also was probably the reason why the whole thing went down to hell because you had completely other problems, I think, anyways. I don't know what else I would add to this stuff here. Uh, I did break this stuff down. Uh, I did not engage in this kind of stuff. I, for his, for his shaking over there, uh, replicating basically psychiatric, uh, <laughs> um, how you would say, the psychiatric is uh, You know, is Juliet is is That means like. Uh, you will be like excessively enjoying, uh, you know, overwhelmingly uh, enjoying in torture, uh, in, I should say, in this case, like in suffering or one, because this is what he's replicating the stuff that was done to me inside the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polia. Very much did my father used uh, at what he believed would be advantage of uh, bringing me to a close as possible to a pathos, uh, I believe that I would enlead myself in suffering from the psychiatric hospital, which a psychiatric, if those were even psychiatric medications, who the fuck knows what the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Poli gave me, but they gave me a real psychiatric medications, a what was inside of those pills, uh, you know, when they give it to you, those pills, the only choice you have is to eat them. Uh, when you are to go to pick them up and eat them, you only go to the certain pharmacy store and you pick them up and they give it to you. And that's all there is to you. And if there are two pharmaceutical stores inside of the city and each pharmaceutical store has whatever pills ready for you, for the pick it up, you pick them up and you take them, just like you are told. And but those not necessary are the psychiatric pills as is written on their films, basically, in their packaging. Uh, both pharmaceutical pharmacies where I was picking up and Kirka Pharmaceutical and the one in the city were already involved in MK Ultra since the one in the city was already involved since my childhood with all the employees involved in one. Uh, and then he had another one, which was at the Kirka Pharmaceutical, that equally was employed, uh, involved in one since one existed. So I don't know what the hell to tell you about. All these people were involved in MK Ultra case, uh, you're going to, with this kind of stuff, with this kind of attitude, uh, it, not everything is only doubtful. It's actually rather strange that you would go and you would measure the amount, the degree of damage you do to the person through the use of this kind of stuff. And molest one psychologically to the degree that, you know, you try to make one to, completely to destroy one, basically, through this kind of issues. All right, so that's all I got to say. I'm going to post these videos below. He's doing his game. I don't care. 
Uh, I just, what I do is I video record. Unfortunately, that video recording did not came right. I told you because of the hardware, it's a very, very poor quality recording, this recording here. But you can hear me at least talking. And I don't get absolutely in any kind of... To go. I don't get in any kind of mental game with him in respect to the stuff he's doing. And to do the stuff like this because of me, because the two of us mostly had a good time whenever I came. I played him videos and stuff like that. And clearly everything he had done, he did this on his own behalf. So guy just with the cops also claimed that if father would be doing the stuff like this, uh, it would be used to intensify psychiatric medications against one. When I say this, he stops at once. That's the interesting part. But the thing about it is, he is hurting himself. I told you about that police, the psychiatrist, Peter Kops, what they wanted to do is, they don't want me to go there anymore. They, they did absolutely everything possible in their hands so that I would no longer pay him a visitations at all. He, he, he is digging his own grave, basically, by doing this kind of stuff, by following this kind of procedure, basically, by complying with this kind of stuff. Now you're going to have to, now you're going to say, but he has to. Fuck, he has to. He does not have to. He does this shit because he is certain. In one thing, he always was certain that he is going to prove somehow, some way, anyways, that I do have a mental illness. So that he would receive more earlier try to intimidate me with, but it doesn't work. More harm than good when I come here. This is what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch dreamed about. He talked to me during MKUltra that during my visits, with my visits, I'm causing one more harm than good, and this is what the case is going to be based. Exactly what you see right there. But I think he is faking it. I think he's lying right now again. Um, he has no reason to do the stuff like this because of me, because the two of us mostly had a good time whenever I came. I played him videos and stuff like that. And clearly everything he had done, he did this on his own behalf. So I guy just with the cops also claimed that if father would be doing the stuff like this, uh, it would be used to intensify psychiatric medications against one so that he would receive more uh, medications for what he's doing right there. More is doing damage to himself at this point in time than to me. So I am not going to be playing videos today. We're just going to be uh, doing exactly what I what you see here we are doing today. There was a siren that went on a little earlier, tried to intimidate me with, but it doesn't work. I am off to finish my bottle and then I will go home, basically. When this is trying to demonstrate you. that I'm causing him more. When, when, they, when, when they see, basically, that you're not paying attention, that you're not playing by your notes, that you're not displaying any kind of nervousness, that you're just simply stable and basically present, that you know exactly what, that you're self-aware about what goes on in your surroundings. Uh, basically, everything goes back to normal. Uh, it's just... He went right back to normal once they understood everything what I stated and they understood absolutely everything what they accomplished with this kind of they thought that I'm gonna be staring him over there, uh melting my memories in the head, what was done to the, to me during MKL and so on. And instead I used time to remind exactly what they wanted, how they this is basically the idea that it's gonna be like a psychological war between me and my father. My father playing, you know, fucking around with it, uh, and basically in return for my paying attention to whatever mother lives, 
uh, inside of the house, whatever is scattered around, the neighbors reminding, you know, all the time, insisted during MK Ultra, and your father is dead, will die. And it's going to be uh, Dia del Muertos, Day of the Dead, you know, November, and so on. And your father is all going to be gone. And it's going to be New Year, and, and but you're not going to be by the New Year, and this and that. Uh, and uh, there are f- fucking candles all over the house, back and forth, flower. Mother was busy with this shit. Uh, grave, and so on. Black umbrellas, all kinds of issues. They brainwashed me with how to see him, how he's going to die. Mother brought the mandarins also <laughs> the other day. I asked my mom, I asked, this year you haven't bought apples yet. Apples are really good for your kidneys. Uh, but I see, I said, mom, you bought mandarins. And she said, yeah, that's right. I bought mandarins. But I said, mom, uh, but... You don't eat mandarins. You never eat mandarins. Uh, and she says, yeah, but you're going to eat them. But mom, I never liked mandarins. I never ate mandarins. The one who ate mandarins, I tell my mother, is my father. But my father is not here. So, and then she goes and says, and then I'm going to eat them. I mean, it's just bombardment of the stuff that they embedded in. It's going to be like the last time. is the last thing you're going to see. It's going to be mandarins. Then you know the father is gone. Next to the mandarins, she plays the napkin and so on. I got fucking videos like this. I can roll wicks. This is all the stuff they were spending the time on. As I said, this is how psychiatrists, better cops, literally earn pension. Now, am I going and paying attention to the stuff like this? His, as well as my probably getting even a bonus. As primitive as this shit is. As long as I'm paying attention to, as long as I'm paying him a visit for his displaying derision, basically, for a human dignity. And often time ago, I told you about the sleep deprivation. I barely beat my sleep when I'm playing him videos and stuff like this, when I associate with him. And he's giving you basically a middle finger in return and so on. This sucks. This thing sucks, man. To finish my bottle and then I will go home. Basically, this is trying to demonstrate that I'm causing him more harm than good when I come here. This is what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch dreamed about. He talked to me during MKUltra that during my visits, with my visits, I'm causing one more harm than good. And this is what the case is going to be based upon. Now, I don't know how much remember, a big part of MK Intra involved my father pulling out the feeding tube out of his chest, committing a suicide, well, upon which he would be transferred quickly to the hospital where they would try to save his life and so on. You know, this shit, to tell you the truth, this is crazy. This is totally insane, but more than anything, this is primitive. As I said, I wouldn't do this stuff like this. I do really harm to myself by paying this guy a visit for, in return, what I get attitude like this. I think that he completely missed the case already. That's all. This is a very bad camera, but you know, he calmed down. He no longer would even move his hands and so on. When when they understand that you're not going to get yourself on a thin ice, that you're not going to pay by their notes, they get it. They quickly understand about everything. What got me the most that I have to tell you is this shit here. With my of course, sister. that mental sickness is supported by what you see here. No, this is when I came of course, this back. is what was translated to, to me as a Marishka Vajica. Right? There is a mama, and here you see... Uh, she's got beats, and uh, uh, but father has a problem, and it's his problem. It's not going to become my problem. Uh, there you go. There are no plants here. There never were any plants here. Only this stuff was used in the MK Ultra, and uh, I really don't know what I would say to this stuff other than this. Uh, my sister is very important to note. She sees herself in lumparia, as we say in Slovenian language, in a crime. Uh, 
she not only see herself in a father, uh, but she also see herself in psychiatry against me. So she was the one based on her. This is very, very important here. This part is very important as far as my sister. This declares everything in respect to my sister. Just as I stated, my sister, I didn't even know she's paying visits to my father. Obviously, it appears that she is paying visits to my father. She does not see herself only in a father. And father, if you understand, I'm going to broaden this statement you're about to hear. Father is all about the psychiatry. So she is not. It's very important to note, she sees herself in lumparia, as we say in Slovenian language, in a crime. Uh, she not only sees herself in a father, uh, but she also sees herself in psychiatry against me. Uh, father is all about the psychiatry. But my sister, what I, what you're going to hear me in continuation, as I declare here, she also sees herself in psychiatry. What exactly do I mean? What I mean here is that my father, who is all about the psychiatry, he's a dummy, basically, used by psychiatrists, by the police to cause as much harm as possible. That's what he is. He's not controlled only by the police. He's not only controlled by a psychiatrist. He's also controlled by my relatives, such as my sister, who insisted all along for me to get destroyed by the psychiatry. She is psychiatry. So she was the one, based on her own testimony. She also was violent uh, inside of the hospital. Hey, when she was, she was taking a samples and stuff, blood samples and so on. Uh, she displayed a high degree of violence against me, anger, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and would give just about anything in the world to hurt me, to damage me. Including with people employed inside of the Novo Mesta Hospital at this department where they were taking blood for the cancer analysis and stuff like that. Um, well, intentions are just as done deal, and next to the stuff she had done, she sealed her deal, in this case. Uh, yet there is really nothing else I would add to this stuff. This is uh, what I need to say when I f to finish this video. You know, when I came home, I confronted my mother in respect to this plant, about this MK Ultra portion here, downstairs at the entrance. The shit that came out of her head about if it doesn't look like a morgue, you know, uh, the entrance of our house. Uh, and about the sister, how if the things would not work out with my father, that she would be the first one who would provide a proof for them, uh, you know, a legitimate cremation, if you like, uh, or uh, I should say, yeah, there was, some, there was another news that was also involved in this stuff. It was more about it. They, they claim me that I will never, ever be capable to prove, uh, that I will never, ever be capable to prove the case of fake death certificate because they would scatter the uh, the cremations uh, throughout fields, throughout the rivers, through whatever they would. Uh, and that's basically enough to justify basically a disappearance of the person. Uh, but in this case here, when I confronted this morning my mother, she acknowledged me as mentally ill. She acknowledged me as mentally ill. And I have to say that it was also the sister. It didn't end with her providing a legitimate proof uh, that she is suffering from the cancer. 
It didn't end with this stuff under MK Ultra that it would be a burial uh, if I am not going to go along with the father, if I wouldn't be friendly with the father. This, this is the issue I already declared, clarified at the beginning of the video. Um, with the people like this, you can never be any kind of friend. There is no friendship with the stuff, with the lumparia, with the stuff like this, where people start to do. The only thing you can do is you can protect yourself as much as possible because these people are up to no good. The people like this are up to killing you, taking your life away. They caused me already enormous harm, took zero responsibility for it, and believed I will eventually get myself involved in some kind of mental game. Uh, more likely than her providing a death certificate to ensure that one would be real death and not a fake death through what they believe I would insist on analysis was her following statement. And that, however, more was related to the psychiatric issues that if nothing would work, they, however, they would press together, I don't know, with the neighbors, with other people uh, from the village and so on, uh, and create the psychiatric case against me and hospitalize me and get me destroyed and this, that, and that, 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 that. My sister was full of shit. She had many, many scenarios behind it. Uh, there's only one thing she was committed to, causing a lot of harm. Now, my sister might even argue with this stuff. The video I presented you the day earlier, the two days earlier, about how I was growing up in this center of the city, Kandia, where my sister pushed me. Uh, the truth is that it was my sister who gave the mother green light um, for mother in 2017, for mother to even state me that uh, when I would be addressing her about this issue in respect to Kandia and so on, um, my mother would come up with a statement in which she would signal that I never was pushed from a uh, scarp, uh, th that I have never even fallen from the scarp and so on and so forth. What what rather would be used to depict my sister in a positive light, but due to the nature of the video I demonstrated two days ago, the advanced knowledge in where I demonstrated and described literally my sister insisting to my parents on violence, on continuation of the violence and destruction, ultimately death, because I was unwilling to forgive her for what she did to me, uh, to totally expose her in some other light. These people had an idea, dream about coming out of this case in absolutely any way as legitimate. It's absolutely any way that would suggest that they did something for me. They did, did help me in any kind of form. I would never ever forgive myself. She didn't do this on one occasion. She tortured her in MK Ultra. She caused evil. She finally get me behind the doors of the psychiatric institution in 2013. And those things, based on the damage is done to me, are unforgettable. And unforgivable. My sister is not alone in this stuff. Uh, or I should say, my father, inside of the home for elderly people, whom apparently never my sister visited. And at times only would be my niece. So today is Saturday. So it could well be it's going to be a niece that's going to come to pick up my mom. They try to, they try to depict this case like a collective conscience, like they're trying to help me out. It's like a, some kind of goodwill, like something like from the state they're doing, like we're going to, you know, do something for you. There's no fucking goodwill here. The grandkids of the people who served during the World War II as a partisan, as a national resistance, just as I stated, came out in my case, in this case, in the nature of this case, worse. I'm 100% sure that if I was inside of the concentration camp, if I was 
thrown in front of the Gestapo or in front of the German SS, they would treat me absolutely with a much greater respect than what I got from the people from my own country that their grandparents supposedly served in exactly the same lines during the World War II as to what applied to my grandparents. You get it? This one thing is fact, that the German SS, the German Gestapo, never ever would have done this stuff to their own people. So you can't say you, Slovenian people, that I am you, or that you in absolutely any way deserve to be seen in my eyes as me. You failed. And what you did with the father at Home for Elderly People was a desperate, desperate, desperate attempt to get me destroyed through the psychiatric violence, through the physical violence, which your SS, Slovenian SS Gestapo partisan, grandkids of the partisans have been forced against me. You are going to have to swallow this. I don't know how the world is going to see you for it, but you're going to have to come blatantly out and you're going to declare this and this and this is what we are. This is our collective Slovenian conscience. We created this and we created that. We greatly participated and we greatly helped to Vladimir Putin for whatever is happening in Ukraine. You will have to do it. For better or for worse. Only would be my niece. So today is Saturday. So it could well be it's going to be a niece that's going to come to pick up my mama. She did came to pick and up And it's going to take her to father. What you see here is my Russian home to ask my mom if I can take her to the father. So by the time I came home and I asked my mother if I can take her to the father, it was already niece that was taking her to my father. Uh, it's not exactly like this. It's not exactly that uh, my father was all by himself inside of this home for elderly people and so on. There were people that were giving him courage in his stuff in his crazy stuff. Uh, it wasn't... It wasn't only uh, for a police mother. It, I, it, what's, I'm, what I'm disappointed at, I know about the niece, I know what the fuck the niece is, but in fact, it also was my sister. That's actually what scares me more, that she was out there and she took like enormous step forward toward complete, complete lunacy. Uh, basically, as she claimed, would sacrifice herself for me to get idea that her death is real, so I would not investigate other people and so on and so forth. Uh, wow. This goes completely in line with my statement, with the statement of my mother this morning, when she stated that I'm mentally ill and so on. So, you see, they are building extensive file with belief and that they're going to present. Well, what the fuck are you going to present? Are you going to say that this MK Ultra case is not real? I mean, the one who is not real is you, the Slovenian people. You got a real problem here. You're fake as it gets. You did not manage to justify absolutely anything in this case. Even less fact that this start, that it all started when I was six months old. You got a problem. And the problem that you had, you made one even worse. Psychiatry is my sister. More than what I anticipated. And it's very, very disappointing that it might have been my sister more crazy about psychiatry than my niece. This is what disappoints me. She was excited about the psychiatry during MK Ultra, uh, and it's very disappointing to note for me. She was very supportive of psychiatry. She wanted them to destroy me, psychiatrist. Uh, it's very, very sad that I find my sister. <laughs> look at the date and time on the same trail, asking for the same things, basically, for more problems, as if it was not enough. Well, she's certainly going to get problems. 
Uh, my sister... Is uh, the flowers are moving in the spot of which was reserved for my sister. Uh, my sister even gave the signal to my mother to a green light basically for uh, the video which I have just created right now uh, about how my sister pushed me from a scarf down for me to break my head. She gave her a green light actually to behave like this because she decided she's going to get a death certificate already back in 2000 and sure enough in 2017 it was I saw her signaling mother on the side that it's okay uh, something like this so this is going to have to be uh, adjusted improved uh, I am going to look for my sister till I actually get her arrested listen up uh, this stuff you haven't done for me any of it uh, you did this to yourself uh, I'm not going to even say for yourself because the whole thing is too evident. You did it to yourself uh, with the idea to convince of or for, that it was for some kind of help or something like this. There was no help and uh, you totally failed in it. You did not get any kind of proof against me that would suggest that something is wrong mentally with me. MK Ultra exists. I demonstrated so many proofs, more than what I can count. My website is nothing other than proof about what went on. And also, it doesn't come anywhere near to describe everything about what went on. Uh, it describes about, in a, in a, in a good way, describes about who you are. And you can act, you can, you, can, you can try to portray yourself to whatever you want to portray yourself as. Uh, but you, I must tell you, you have totally failed. There's nothing dignifying on you. There's nothing that the world should look upon you as someone or something worthy to be seen in absolutely any kind of positive light. Now, you should be remembered for what you are, like in the lowest light, and not as to what you want to be remembered as. My sister is not the only one in this thing. My mother is not the only one trying to portray themselves in a light of something that is not. I have seen a lot of other people doing the same thing. I've seen through mainstream media, people on the other side of the Nadrugistrani illusion, on the other side of the ocean doing the same thing. There is people that have settled and i'm going to action this to the to the public to the broader public don't go for that don't allow this stuff to happen this stuff is contagious eventually it's going to swallow entire uh society global society into a funeral of death Whatever happened to somebody in the past and was projected as something that just happened, uh, either through falsification of the medical files, either through uh, accidents, incidents, um, sexual affairs, maybe, whatever the case might be. Uh, and then portrayed through the media to the public as a form of truth is called the abstract truth. This is like you would take some kind of something you would pick up from the floor and you would slam into against the picture. You would cover the whole picture into a cloud, into something. And through this abstract, what I stated to you right now, 
you must understand that the space that is being used in the media is therefore being efficiently used to cover up the reality in which the society is at the present. Illuminatis at one point have negotiated a, a salmon a run from the cages into a river. Uh, something that just recently came out, but it was the subject already since 2008. So they can, you can imagine they talked about disaster for the salmon. Uh, they were not sure even if they would report to. Um, they first wanted to evaluate and see what kind of consequences this would be, bring to environmentalists. Uh, and then if it would be irreversible damage done, they would go and they would repair, report to this stuff. That much maybe about the Chernobyl or that much about maybe the stuff that also that happens to the Russia and is being criticized at large and not defending Russia. Uh, but we are talking about the Canadian salmon. We are talking about maybe Icelandic salmon, whatever, Norwegian salmon, uh, homegrown salmon. Um, It's exactly this kind of news that's also being used to omit the real circumstances in which certain society, the condition, the well-being of the certain society, whether it be a nation, ethnicity, whatever it might be out there, actually is in. Through the abstract news like this, once you start to do this through this kind of corruption, you start to enforce. It's called Orwellianism. And I call it your Orwellianism. I see this like Orwellian way, like you, you are portraying abstract reality. Something that uh, already happened a long time ago, and now you're presenting this because, yeah, if we go and we take your X ray, it's going to match your broken leg. Whatever, if it's happened in 2013, uh, if somebody would go and do the scan and it's gonna be probably, it would look different now if I would go and do the same thing because it would already regrow itself. But yeah, you do have a certain proof that would be difficult even to dispute and so on. But this is plenty of the stuff like this that was involved in it. But what I'm trying to say to the broader public is, uh, this is not bringing any kind of fortune. It's bringing, the world of unsuspected, the world, the, the the world for what for which world is not being prepared for, so it's therefore the world of unknown. Don't know what to anticipate. What else can come out of it? And it's actually not doing any kind of favor to anybody. You are trying to look cool. You are trying to look good. Uh, at expense of somebody else, at expense of real evil that you committed, that you caused to somebody, must not prevail in this world. World must be as it is and uh, not faked into, basically lies faked into a mosaic of reality. The two things do not blend with one another. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching this video. Um, today, yeah, so you can see the date, you can see the time. <laughs> if you want to see what exactly I meant by October the 12th, when I paid the visit to my father, I'm going to post the link here below so that you can see basically what kind of shit this is, what kind of stuff this is. There is people that would be so happy 
to get my visit in this home for elderly people or, or, or anywhere else for that matter, that they would have assistance, that they would have help, they would have a decent person next to them, they would be helpful, they would be willing to help. Uh, and then there is just basically what you see here, as I stated, it's not going to blend in any kind of reality, not in my reality. I am not going to give you a chance for you to have your own reality, basically. For that kind of reality is a police department that is responsible. The only one still is going to get a chance is going to be my mother, who probably is going to blow one. Uh, at least she's trying to do her best. But as far as this issue, For this shit here that you see here, that I'm holding him like this, my father is not like. For this shit, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and police abused me, claiming me how my spine is going to be injured, how difficult it's going to be, and father is going to be doing this kind of stuff, and so on and so forth, and you're going to be handling your father, and it's going to hurt your spine and this and that. Like I said, they can't wait to get rid of my father. They can't wait to get rid of my father. And the attitude that father is displaying is the attitude I'm not going to allow to do to get me destroyed. Simple as this. I am trying to be nice as much as possible, helpful, but it didn't pay off. He's got his own agenda running, just like my sister. They all had, uh, and absolutely you're not going to misinterpret that it was for help, any kind of form of help, absolutely anything other than what I stated. So guys, this Peter Cup was uh, imaginative. Uh, he figured out, you know what this man figured out for me? He said, if I would, he told me, he said, if, I, if you would ever see yourself uh, like if not as a Nazi. Now, this man basically demanded from me to see myself as a Nazi. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch basically demanded, literally enforced, demanded from me to see myself as a Nazi. Maybe uh, really, really, I like it is when he made a complete idiot out of himself. Yeah, this is more play with the lights. With what he referred to as a Zvita Feltna. If you would not see yourself as a Nazi, then it would be a Zvita Feltna. Zvita Feltna, uh, translated in Slovenian, uh, that is like a band uh, rims. Yeah, I would be a bent rims. He involved these people from this company, bent rims, whatever. Uh, and basically for being what you are, he labeled me during MK Ultra as I would be seen as a Zvita Feltna. It's basically somebody who switches the sides. It's a man who has absolutely Svita felt no. Svita felt nice. Uh, there you go. Are we gonna? Svita felt no. 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 Svita felt
Greta Feldner. Nice. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch would want me to say that my grandfather was a SS officer. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch would want me to say that my grandmother was a SS officer. That brothers of my mother all were SS officers and not partisans. Just as was my grandfather, everybody in the family. One uncle I did have who was truly on the side of the German army. One uncle. Uh, this is basically the only thing that would make psychiatrist Peter Kapsch happy. And I am sure also holy Slovenian nation, because one is going to have to explain its attitude to the world, its contribution to this new, more just world order in which we are, where I was labeled as an ultimate evil. This redistribute route to Europe were beaten up and presented in the world basically as an ultimate evil. Well, we're going to take this. It's coming nicely along other stuff. And so, well, this is located here at the intersection. And it's something psychiatrist Peter Kopp stated he would send me if I would change the story. Imagine this. Because I am the one. The highest order of courage uh, that was handed out to my grandfather. And my grandfather also, I think he's got an Iron Cross from the First World War II. He got the Iron Cross in the First World War I, and he got like the highest order from the Yugoslav military in the World War II. And the highest medal, uh, honor that he received, medal, from the World War II, from Josip Broz Tito, from the partisans, already was stolen by my aunt from Maribor, the sister of my father. So perhaps only psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and Slovenian police who had a medical record since my childhood falsificated by the physicians who are my physicians since my early childhood. Maybe, who knows? Maybe. Just like is the case with this Zvita Feltna, maybe they can write a different story about my grandparents, about my aunts and my uncles, as my deriving maybe from a Nazi family or something like this. Who knows? Thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have anything else to say. I am going to take it in time here. Uh, but. I told you this is this this whole fucking thing is nothing other than a brain fart. I'm sorry to use F word, I'm sorry to use phonetics, uh, but I'm losing it. I lost 51 years on this. In December 9, I'm gonna be 52. What would you do in my case? Politeness is for the people who can afford uh, and Politeness is also for the people that involve, that enforce genocide against targeted population, for which I am going to take more realistic approach and express myself to what it fits me the best.